All right. All right, then. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Speed Gaming Main. We've got ourselves another match of the Ocarina of Time Randomizer Speed Gaming Live 2023 in-person tournament here. We have Group F between Sponge and Drunas. I'm Star, and here yeah, next to Yeah, I'm Dex Rombe. How are you doing? Oh, doing pretty good. Um, This is going to be a really cool race. Oh, this is. So this is in Group F. Uh, this is for who gets a buy in brackets. Uh, Due to the way the tournament structure is we have this year, we have 24 runners, six groups of four, uh, top two from each move on, and the four of the six first place runners in each uh, out of this between the six groups will get a buy in brackets. Due to the way that works is likely anyone who is 3-0 will get a buy. Both runners are currently 2-0 in the group. Whoever wins will be first and have the 3-0-4-A buy. The loser gets second and will be playing tomorrow morning, probably. Yeah. So, again... Both of these people beat me, uh, but they're uh, <laughs> again like not like not that badly. But um, again, these are people who are very highly regarded in the community and have performed very well pr in previous on um, Sponge's case in previous uh, SGL in previous tournaments. Junus is like a consistent presence in a lot of the main tournaments, a lot of the uh, multi world and other tournaments. So he's uh, someone I'd be. You know, he is no sledge. Yep. So this should be a really good match. One of the things that I would just like to point out when we start with one, this is a very convenient start as far as songs go, with the usual prelude start of SGL plus Sun Song, meaning that well, you, maybe you won't abandon weird night checks. Something yeah. to myself. Um, and with the Spirit Medallion start, uh, there was only four required dungeons in theory. This could be very fast, or this rando could have a joke for us. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. Again, Rando is it does what it wants to do. Uh, yep. I did I did look it up and at one point and the uh, exact Rando.py uh, algorithm that's called the Marsen Twister, which I think uh, that just feels really appropriate for Rando. Yeah. Um, I do. Yeah. I have I have game audio on my headset, so. Not just dealing with the, the usual uh, couple issue. of things you gotta do to get this thing going, because this is a production here. We are on one of three active setups at the moment. Current three. Hopefully we'll get four eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and so I'll just keep talking while we get this set up. Um, one of three active, potentially four. Uh, everyone is on these elevated stages. They're kind of narrow. Uh, from experience yesterday, the it is a very weird environment, very cool environment. It's quiet. Yeah, but it's very high pressure environment, and I think these two are gonna. Th well, now that Drew knows what it's like, and uh, Sponge has probably been in these high pressure environments before, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, this will be interesting. Um, I mean, last I mean, aside from the last match I was in with Sponge, the last match I saw with Sponge was a uh, in person was a very tense cornhole tournament. So we'll see uh, if he can perform here, <laughs> just as yeah. well as he did there. Um, almost too well last time. But yeah, we have, again, interesting start and two very good runners. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Oh yeah, this will be fun. So we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, and we should be going here pretty shortly. Yeah, we're getting, uh, yeah, getting, yeah, we're getting counted down. Three, two, one, go. All right, and we are starting a Temple of Time as is the norm for these settings. I'd be kind of concerned if we didn't. Yes. And first off, for these settings, we have a print hit distribution that places four potions in the Temple of Time, so we're getting it right now. Um, Colossus, yes. Wasteland, Fountain, and DMT. Mm, kind of mid. Colossus means you know it, that it is either a piece of junk uh, or a piece of uh, of water out at. Desert Colossus. Or the item check, because one of the 12 like, sound checks is replaced by an item. And that uh, that's item why it's have a piece of junk, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, what we did to make prelude work. We just said one of the prelude is replaced. The song that would be prelude is pretty replaced by a junk item. Yep, and it can be any of the 12. We don't know which. It's just the one of them. Yeah, these two runners are pretty much synced going into CAC. Uh, it's one of the two valid starts for... Uh, I think probably two most common adult starts is go to CAC or go up a river early. With Sun Song, I think going up river early may have been a little more valid, but you may want to wait until you know where Storms is because that's the one problem with it. Ooh, yeah. Drew's checking our schoolhouse hints. This is first, this is a new uh, Ur setting. 20 is a magic meter. Uh oh. No, that, that's a huge rupee. I think, what's 20? I thought that was a magic meter. 
I thought it said huge ruby, but we'll check when Sponge says it. I think 30 was dead. That's a lens on 30 the... was definitely dead. Um, lens of Truth, not all that interesting for these runners. Um, interesting logical implications for going to Desert Colossus if we need to go to Spirit. Um, speaking of, we will, we may not need to, depending on ZL's location, with Requiem of Spirit being in the Composer Grave. As well as a Red Rupee, I believe that was, so we don't have to worry about the item check there, which is good, because sometimes that can be a really hard check to get. I'll say as a runner, like, you see, like, the word Rupee or Bombs or, like, anything that's or arrow refill, you're just like, if you see the little brackets of 20, you're just like, yeah, that's not a thing. That doesn't exist. Yep, and that is ZL. Well, there's ZL, yeah. So we have Requiem of Spirit access and could check for, we could check for Serenade. I may, I would probably hold off if I wanted to do like a convenient time of day change or save warp at that point, because we know it's might not a relevant something song. something we might want to check for. Um, we might also want to wait Potential child cycle, we can get a child ranged weapon for child spirit. Yeah, it's something you can put off until you need to do a time of day change or go to go to Water Temple. Pretty or go much. To, well, Lycalia area. Nothing in Shield Grave. And I think Sponge is going to go check our skill house now, so we'll see what that 20 was. Yeah, 20 magic meter would not be bad. Magic is not something you need terribly quickly. Usually, no. Yeah, it's usually. Okay, no, I'm dying. To, okay, I'm just fine. <laughs> eh, we're fine. Eh. They re you go through it really fast, and when you're you're reacting, you're like you're not really looking for even the words, looking for more the shape of the words. It's why there it was a recent change on the dev branch that changed, updated some of the hint text, and it was it's been very disorienting. Just because okay. you, you memorize one thing and now it's not that. Exactly. You're not even looking at the words, looking at shape. Well, speaking of oh. magic meter, though, Star. Oh, uh, uh, no, there's that. Ha. Uh, we have a magic meter um off of that sun song we started with, so it's not just useful for. For being convenient, it's useful for giving us a magic meter. Yep. Yeah. Uh, heart piece in the sh crate, so we don't need that today, which is good. Really love seeing the early magic meter in any settings, but particularly for these very strong runners. Because the Furore's win start, you can see that on the C buttons. Um, there are so many interesting strats you can do in and between dungeons using Furore's win, and being able to use that to its full advantage is extremely helpful. Oh, absolutely. We've had races where one runner got the magic meter early, the other did not, and having Furore's helped quite a bit with the one runner who could use it. Yeah. Now we're going to be doing our Dompe race on Sponge's side. I think I actually prefer doing it, doing Dompe race first here, because if you get a warp here, say Bolero or Minuet, you're, you could save walking out of the grave. Yeah. Well, well, oh, we, oh, we knew it was Requiem, right. Uh, right, right, never mind. That said, though, we have found uh, nothing in the first toy minutes. Yeah, it's been a little dry of a Kakariko. Although, I mean, let's see what Dompe is first. Well, Seal's not nothing, but it doesn't really do anything as for, for us right now. Nair's love and... A bottle. first bottle. That's two technically major items, just not hey, hey, that... Hey, hey, Star. Mm -hmm. Rush ice. Huh. <laughs> no, um, that is an option. You could go to Ice Cavern. You know it's going to be... I mean, you don't know it's going to be useful, but... I think I might try to find logical progression first. There's a decent amount of Sphere Zero Child stuff you can do. Exactly. And, and I think they're go going to go there, because this adult start has given them nothing that is immediately useful. We know yes. thirty. We know 20 and 30 are dead, so that bottle doesn't do much. We can't use a lens. I guess we could do lens minigame. That's a child check. Just do it with Market and Sun Song. Okay, great. Thanks. And we don't aren't going to do it anything else, really, with that. Yeah, and that, the other point would be that you would probably want to hold off on making any major decisions until you saw your medallions. Um, that, too, because we don't know what our required dungeons are yet, because now yeah. none of our runners have checked it. If they're very shallow dungeons, I would definitely say there would definitely be very little motivation to go do anything like any like shots in the dark, like go up for river to Ice Cavern, which is just, I'm just, I'm it, not like, even saying that's a good play, I'm just kind of like yeah, throwing it out there. Like if our dungeons are like DC, Forest, and I don't know, Deku, maybe, if, like if there's three of them, it's like, great. You don't want to be going too far out of your way for those, but if you've got like Shadow, Spirit, if you have high, fire? Yeah, if you've got the high item requirement dungeons, then you might want to go places more. Versus a, uh, this might be a jet seed, and you don't want to get yourself stuck down a rabbit hole you don't need to go down. Exactly. And that's to note, too, is that especially depending, you know, with depending on what Jabu's reward is, we don't know Ruta's letter is. We can secrets break to Ice Cavern with a bottle and KZ's King's Aura skip, but if, if job was unrecorded, you might not, not get letter for a long time. It's true. Drew is going to be doing something as an adult, though, because you would not go for that fairy if you were... 
No. I'm not sure where he's going, actually. Did he miss the, uh, has he not done open grotto in the back? Well, he doesn't have this, he hasn't done the, uh, east side of this, uh, entire region oh, yet. Yeah. Yeah, he has because he did a different, different route. Did because he went to Skull House immediately? Yes. Alright. So he's still finishing this out. Uh, I can't tell what it is on the hand. If you can't tell, it's probably not important. We don't have to worry about the arch because Colossus is foolish, and the song check here is. Item for Serenade. Answer is. The snow. <laughs> wow, that is like. <laughs> that is insult to injury there. It's not even halfway useful. Nope, we're gonna get the hit. Uh, Hyrule Ooh. Castle on the Path of Queen Goma is a good hit. That's a powerful hit there. Of course, it's, it could just be a slingshot, but if we have a spirit required, you're gonna want the. Uh, you're gonna want that Requiem. Ooh, that was a sketchy looking jump to Rufio, but it worked, so who cares? Nope. Looks like Trunus is gonna be holding off on going to find his uh, Stone of Agony, but that could be interesting as far as when we get explosives. Yeah, because that's like potentially a very powerful hit depending on where explosives are, because Hero Castle Fairy can be very easy to isolate if you don't get explosives or ZL early. We got ZL at the start, but we, like, super early in CAC, but we don't know where. It's also just very tempting to, if you're going back adults, be like, oh, I don't need to do that. It's one check. It's so hard, so far out of the way. It is. Uh, so we'll see. That's something where I've started routing that intentionally because it is so easy to just decide not to do ever, and then you're never doing it. Absolutely. That does. Okay, so Deku Forest, Forest Spirit, Spirit and DC. DC. This is this is moderately fast, actually. That's kind of scary. Spirit's the only. There's a major consorting one. And um, what was our light medallion? I missed that one. Someone in chat who can do it faster than uh, who can take a screenshot because we can't uh, can get us that info, please. Yeah. I I don't think Spun just checked it yet, so we'll probably get another chance on his side. Yeah. Child shooting gallery, so more or less your typical opener, especially because we got absolutely nothing of immediate use to start the scene. Yeah, you're gonna be like going through your child sphere zeros. Water's dead. Thank you, Chad. That's a good one to get. Oh, that, I like that. I mean, I like that, of course. Um, looks like Sponge will be getting Richard right away, and potentially he'll need to get some money, but there's a 20 in this crate right here. Yep. But he can go from there to do treasure chest game, save warp out. Yeah. Um. Walking out of treasure game is really slow, and you want to check your child save warp. I was kind of reminded in my match with Sponge yesterday that this is a random child spawn. Yes, so that is helpful to remember. Uh, Remembering that about when you're expecting to walk to wake up in a Link's house is pretty cool. Yeah, because, um, yeah, uh, don't forget your settings. Um. <laughs> There's just a bunch of settings floating around right now. Oh, that's a... Not, not required, but extremely convenient item. The uh, That gets us child domain access is what that gets us right now. Yeah, we have child domain access, river access, their one item in Lake Hylia, but mostly it gives you more convenient movement through the world. Absolutely, and we're going to see the lens game. No reason not to. Oh, yeah. This is a... You get... This is like the only thing we got of any real substance, and... Yeah, that's the only thing we can use from Animal 1 right now, effectively, because the bottle doesn't do anything to it for us besides an Logic Ice Cavern of questionable value right now. Yeah, or, or, or some skulls that you could get more quickly using other uh, means. Yeah, like, we know now, we don't know exactly which of our Burning Cag medallions, but Jabu is one of our Burning Cag ones, it's not required, so that Rudo's letter might not be showing up for a bit. Oh, yeah. In fact, you probably you might not want it to show up. Yeah, like the, the if we can stay out of the fish, I'm happy. Yeah, so like especially in this case, you would put off ice because you don't want to. Act. For all you know, your Rudo's letter is behind your go boat, and you just wasted a bunch of time. Oh yeah, you can sometimes make up some time with a with a song with a good song would be the counter argument, but we don't know if the song's good yet. Yep, no idea, and just nothing out there on the lens game. Yeah. Loopy is not of any value whatsoever. Yeah, I think we'll probably see them play it fairly straight for the first, you know, 15, 20 minutes of the seed, and then we'll see some, and then if we see any, oh. uh, <laughs> oh, huh. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, okay, I'll take that. That's, sure. Thanks, game. <laughs> So getting to spirit is very, very logical. Nice to know. Nice to know. And Drew's going to take this opportunity to check since he hasn't done this yet. Yeah, and he'll get the time of day change here too, which is going to be convenient. One less uh, time of day yet to play. He'll also get this this hint, which is, we know is pretty important. Yeah, very much so. Because even when Colossus is foolish, you want this hint, especially in the early game, because 
Information is powerful. Here. Honestly, biggest thing to be, be with these path hints in path hints, I love them. I think they're awesome. You do need to get them. <laughs> you do need to make sure you're checking enough hint stones to get all your path hints, because particularly if you haven't completely ruled out the uh, dungeon. Absolutely, because with these settings, we have five required rewards. So usually the game will try to give you a path to each of your required dungeons with a few caveats besides. Uh, but generally, they'll try to give you one each. Which is going to be interesting here because there are two dungeons on this list that do not have unique required items. No, uh, because the, the Dongo's Cavern, the only thing that can be path to DC in these settings is your bomb bag. And if there are well, multiple bomb bags available... Actually, no, we cannot... The other thing, actually, we will not get a King Dodongo path no matter how many bomb bags are available because Spirit's a stone. And you need a bomb bag to beat Spirit. Mm, yep, yep. Because the other thing is that because we have nested wind conditions, unlike in more typical Oud here racing settings, we have we have split wind conditions. Instead of six medallion bridge and nope against Castle Bosky, we have three rainbow stones required for access to the rainbow bridge, and then the shadow the shadow and spirit medallions locked against Castle Bosky in the light arrow cutscene. So that creates tiered uh, t that creates uh, layered uh, wind conditions and thus layered wind condi and path hints. So any item that is on the list of path items to a stone. Ooh, this. This does bring up a few things because any that items would mean that, any items that are on the path to a stone, wh whether or not it's hinted or not, cannot be hinted on the path to Medali, to the so boss key. Forest is especially unlikely to have a hint then because you would have that would be for a song or for a bow on poten potentially. Well, a it's bow. a stone. Forest is oh, a stone. Forest is a stone. Never mind. I know what I'm doing. But th because Spirit Temple requires a bomb bag, because you need a bomb to be Yes, yes, I, I understand. <laughs> uh, Song of Storms is a nice early find, especially because we found so much nothing to start this seed off. <laughs> yeah, that opens a ton of checks in the well, which we have nearly complete access to, and you can peek all of the bomb checks that you can't actually get, so you'll be able to tell if you need to get them. Yeah, but the game should guarantee us at least one path in each for Deku and Spirit. Um, and then maybe one for Forest, but the issue, as you mentioned with Forest, is that... There's multiple copies of everything you can get for it. You, there are two different songs possible for access. You have two, multiple hook shots, multiple hook bows, and multiple strengths. They just might not exist. Or they might get caught by one of the other path hints because the same item can't get pointed to by two different paths. Yeah. So, in other words, uh, this is going to be a pretty interesting one for path hints. We might see some weird stuff going on, particularly with the spirit path. And this is actually something where... You, know, you probably don't want to play it straight too off the far off the path of get your early songs, get your early hints, because if you are, because uh, particularly with this knowledge that there's only one dungeon that has a whole bunch of concentrated information available to it, you're gonna see a lot of stuff for spirit probably. We're probably getting three spirit paths. And that can mean things like, well, we have magic, so it can mean things like a fire source. It can mean things like the mirror shield. It can mean things like multiple strengths, depending on how things are locked. And in fact, even the forest paths will potentially be helpful to spirit, because a lot of the forest requirements go into spirit as well. You yes. need strength for forest. You need a hookshot. You can need a bow snaps for spirit temple. It's not a bad thing to get. Also, Bing, both of our runners are doing this, and I actually like this a lot. Um, they are going, going for this valley lake opener. Yep. Um... I am not a huge fan of doing Child Valley, um, just, just as a fact. But when you have something, you've gotten so little gas. You have very little to do other than go get go to go just to Kiri, early game. go to your early game. Your early game. Uh, these are Sphere Zero checks. You have uh, you have like three Sphere Zero checks. You'll probably be looking at around here between well, four four Sphere Zero checks between the two in Gruta Valley. Um, and if you decide to go from here to Kakiri Forest, because you need to get there somehow. Um, you can grab the adult child fishing and walking up to open grotto. Also, we can also get letter spot since we have a scan. Oh, yes. Well, that's not sphere zero, though. Yeah, just an additional check they can get. It is not sphere zero in this case, but they can loop it in. And there's a couple hints here. We've got the lake lab hint, we've got the valley hint, and the open grotto hint. Yes. And, and they'll be hoping to get really explosives to check the south field stuff. Yeah. If you really feel spicy, you can go for back of lake, but like... I think these runners are not going to spend that time. Yeah, it depends because on what you want to do with your time of day, honestly. With Sun Song, that's also a big point. Big point. point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The back of Lake hints are an adult check. Change my mind. Um, yeah, they're a lot nicer as adult when you have a phone now, usually. I well, I'm not seeing anything, which is a good reason to go over there. Yeah, it's not a blue pea, it's not a heart pea, so. <laughs> yeah. I've heard some, like, you know, I've been watching some Wind Waker, and they're like, oh, it's not shiny, it's important. It's, it's the other way around here. If it's. If it's not shiny, it's a bow. Um, 
a lot of the non-important items in Ocarina are non-shiny items. Back to Phantom Ganon. Um, um, we've got a lens to nothing. We've got a... Could be something interesting. Um, hmm. Requiem. No, CL is in the windmill. That can't be it because that's not possible. Cube path it is excluded. So... Huh. Nothing yet, I guess. No, we, we know 10 skills could be at Cac Archery. would be funny. Yeah, we do have a bow. Cac Archery. Uh, Redead Grotto. Redead Grotto. Chickens. chickens. You're, well, I mean, you have well anyway. That's not a bad route. You, well, no, and I, well, I, and Dompe, I, I that's expect good route. do that. Big Oron is dead. Good hint. Would have been nice to have that yesterday morning. Oh, uh, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I, I. Honestly, I think the most. Well, this one is. That's kind of unfortunate because this is a claim check seed. And uh, I will say. It's not that bad if it's just claim check, you know? Yeah. Rito's letter spot just a, just a recovery heart. Nothing doing there. Yeah, uh, it can't be Bird and Cat because that's separately hinted, and it, yeah, Requiem can't even ha hit, be hinted. We can't even get a hit of that Requiem as Path for Child Spirit because our Child Spot is at Colossus, hilariously. Yep. Anyway, I've got a lot to go figure out. And, well, yeah, true, we do DM Bigger on's foolish because DMT is foolish, but it has to be. Uh, yeah, moot point. Yeah, and can't you just give us a prescription when you have this? Like, come on, man, give us the claim check when we have to do it, and the prescription when you don't. Yeah, easy. Anyway, the, we're going to see child fishing, and then we'll head for a field. The fish does not agree with this. The Apparently fish, The fish no. doesn't agree with your statement here. Sometimes the game just doesn't want to cooperate with you. The fish has its own, a mind of its own. Rando does not prove it to be a little less miserable than vanilla fishing, but it can still, there's some degree of uh, just... You just happen to land the lure in the wrong spot, and the fish just doesn't want to cooperate. Yep. Yeah, runners have been on top of each other the whole time. Just very that very little bit of a it's just not much routing decision in Kakariko has been like the only major difference at this point. Yeah, they did Colossus in a different times, but they had no different items, so it ended up not mattering like in the slightest. Yeah. If anything, Drew got back a slight bit of time on the child on the cat grounding by doing spear in one trip with the save quit rather than Drew sponges two trips. Yeah, although you, that's a. Oh, Ooh, Sponge is just going to go straight through the domain. Oh, interesting. Going to route from domain into Lost Woods, it looks I like. I hate that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a fun place. You can full clear a river. You can, and not to mention, you know you're not, you're hoping you don't get lettered anytime fast. Yeah. You don't want to see the letter in this seat, to be honest. So you might as well do these checks, round it in, and just hopefully never come back. Yeah. And again, you, we've seen so little that I don't think there's any bad check right now. No. Hey, CAC 2, Phantom Ganon. Once Shadow Meta's DC. And looks like Drew's going to potentially yep, do the same, which, honestly, not something I would have thought of, but this makes a lot of sense. Because, yeah, we have no... Our bow is our most meaningful item, and that's not saying much without a hookshot. Yeah, or that GTG gets access. two Logically. things, reasonably. Like... He gets you uh, Link the Goron and Cac Archery at this point. That's about it, and I guess you could add Logic Big Pose if you really felt like it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you wanted to. Uh, it's about the only thing that Bobble's used for right now. Yeah, I would say that... I would say, uh... <laughs> what, you do that, there's a market path that isn't fulfilled, and, uh... You're real desperate, but... Like, it's a, not something they're gonna rush. Yeah, like, I, I would... You would do that for, like, Epona on... Burning cack. <laughs> Pretty much. And that'd be about it. Yeah. Um, it's a little hard to get the medallion out. Uh, trackers, can you mark Shadow Med is on DC? Um, and we aren't sure on the Burning Cack medallions because only Drew did a medallion check and it was a little too fast for us to quickly catch here in person. Yeah, I'm not sure which one is, uh, I'm not sure which one is our Forest Med. Nope, and that's really the one we care about. The other two are function scene. We know it is. We know those three medallions are Jabu, uh, Fire, and Shadow in some order. Jabu was the fourth med. Thanks, chat. Yeah, and Nothing. then we may be seeing a uh, dip into domain. But again, if you're just putting off these pretty high quality checks that give me a good route into Kak into Kakiri, that would otherwise not be smooth at any point in the run. Yeah. Like I don't think there's a re that's a reason to put it off. 
Yeah. Yeah, like, so they might end up needing to do job with some arrows. Alright, we don't need that. We do want the hint, which tells us Burning Cack is Bolero. Uh, Shadow's the one of the fire or water medallions, so we do not care. Fantastic. Yep. Yeah, all that does for us is make it harder to get to fire. Pretty much. Hopefully we get many yet if we need to go to fire, but fire's also a the, the other of the Shadow Spear, the fire yeah. water medallion, so... Yep, we don't really need it. We don't care. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to go to Shadow or fire. Well, we might care. <laughs> don't, uh, yeah, don't, uh... Well, we might care, but we hope we don't have to. Yeah, <laughs> don't speak before we see what the seed has in for us, because right now, all we have is nothing. We do have an impressive amount of nothing, 22 minutes in. <laughs> when our bow, without a hookshot, is the most meaningful item we have, uh, that mm -hmm. says something about how this is going. Smart choice to buy beans. Because yeah. Adult Lake, with our logical access, but here by scale, might be our progression. We are... Yeah, not got a lot. Yeah, I'll say that as a runner, the dual hint for Adult Lake is one of my favorite things. Because if you need to do a bean, if you think about a bean, it tells you whether you can do it. And even if you don't, those trucks can be kind of slow. Yeah, uh, Herpes and Lower River, so that's not a progression either. Well, Sphere Zero Grotto got us? Maybe. It does tend to do that. It's one of the reasons why the river opener is popular, is sometimes your one thing to get progression going is there. Yep. And the frog. hints, too. Ribbit. <laughs> And money. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Frogs, did you hear us? We didn't play uh, one of the other songs. We played Song of Storms. You're supposed to give us something nice. <laughs> Not 50 bucks, which is what you get when you play the other s each of the other songs for the frogs. <laughs> Normally. Unless Frog Sanity is on, which is a thing in some of the dev branches. <laughs> yes, which is a thing in Melqui's heart. All right. Uh, Job Blue is the forest medallion. Shadow is the fire medallion. Fire is the water medallion. And uh, water's light. Thank you, chat. So you know I'm just cheering for Shadow Temple to be to have something important because uh, I have not seen enough Shadow this weekend. Right. For our trackers, Light Med is on Water Temple. Light Medallion, Water. Fire Medallion, Shadow. Water Medallion, Fire. Frox 2 is dead. That's good to know. Yeah, and we're also blanking out on Zora's River. This is a bust, impressively. Well, we still haven't been to Mido's house, so that's maybe we shouldn't be too hasty about saying it's a dry early seed. Yeah, it's true. Cac wait, that's wait, the third wait, one. Wait, game, what? <laughs> now that is really unusual. Especially for Phantom Gin, because as mentioned, there's multiple copies of everything you could need for that. Yeah, you need to rush 10 skulls, and you need to rush some, uh, and you need to rush some chickens. Rush 10 skulls, rush chickens, and do Adel Archery as soon as you get adult. Yes. Because uh, apparently the game really wants us to do Cac for that dungeon, somehow. It really wants you to do Cac. But not the not the easy checks. No. Well, Sponge reads that and goes straight to CAC. Honestly, makes sense. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Hey. That's just a miss. It's Princess Zelda's autograph. <laughs> I mean, it has been dry. It's just funny, Caleb, because Forest doesn't have any 100%. This is the only copy in the seed. The way Mirror Shield is for exactly. Spirit. Exactly. Exactly. Like curious what is for Deku Tree. There are multiple hook shots. There's both Minua and Sarias. There's multiple bows and there's multiple strings. Like yeah, one, and the bow was not in Kakariko at all. No, we have that already. It's we did not get a valley path. <laughs> and Drew goes straight for this this skull because he was coming up river when you saw that hint, which makes perfect sense too, because you have to rush ten skulls. You're running out of stuff and Kak's double path. Yeah, get going. Yeah. I think Drew is going to be going through. Hmm. I'm just thinking about is there a convenient bug pickup anywhere around here? bushes, but he's only at two skulls for Sponge, so Sponge is not getting time for a bit. Yeah, I'm thinking, because I think for Drew, there's three bug patches here, and although those are slow, if you can end up in Kakariko with ten, it would probably make up your time. You could also just play Sun Song. I think he was at seven yeah, oh, he's, skulls, so he's See that? This is, what, this is what I'm thinking about. He's going for going for bugs in these bushes. Yep. Yeah. Drew, you are a man after my own heart. Because he'll be able to clear his skulls in Kakariko, yeah. which is really powerful. Uh, skull Mask is dead. Good hint. Yeah. And does remember the Storm's Grotto here. That's good. There's yeah, another hint. Another check. Yep. Uh, I checked the hint tells us... Ooh. The adult, the adult fishing is a Goron tunic. So... Going into fire, deeper into Fire Temple, whenever you have the asterisk, whenever you have the required uh, items, 
is in logic, which you probably don't want to. <laughs> Drew, that's a big test. You want yeah. that? <laughs> you do. And that's like there as well. Okay, well, okay, you need we it. can kill Ganon. Um, when we get there in like two hours. What? We don't need anything. We don't need to actually open the bridge, right? We can just go there? Just like stand outside of the castle and yell at him to come out and fight us? <laughs> but no, I really appreciate this play from Drew just going straight for a skull rush so he can end up in Kakariko with the 10 skull check. Yep. Um, yeah. Bottle, proving useful for 10 skulls because we don't have anything else to get us 10 skulls with. Oh, we do. We just don't want to go it. We don't want to go through the nonsense required to do it. Yeah. Did it just eat the bugs? <laughs> I hate when it does that. Sometimes the game just doesn't like you. Sometimes the bugs are just like, mm, not today. No. Nope. And it always seems for me, fortunately, you did not say this happened. If I do my second attempt at it, it always seems like the, uh, the all three of the bugs just immediately dive into the hole, never be seen again. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. showing off a little trick called Steel Stick, where uh, you are able to s stab and get... If you hit what you're trying to stab on the backswing, it doesn't actually break your stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this... Okay, chance is tough to zero gold skulls and getting ten of them is possibly the slowest thing in the world. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, that is exactly true. Like, think of the, for example, the Lon Lon Ranch skull in the back on the shed or whatever Honestly, it is. the one in the back of the shed is not a bad one if you have Sun Song. And you're planning on walking out anyway. Yeah. yeah, the issue is that neither runner knew Cag was double path at the Exactly. Time. <laughs> exactly. Like so it's archery, skulls, or in Redead Ground, which two out of the three, yes, top yes. pile. Because <laughs> it wasn't the chickens for Sponge. Um, we are so bottle decked, it's kind of funny as we see another big chest here in the well. Oh, there we oh, go. There's our bomb bag. Finally. That'll do her. Also, uh, Druna is taking advantage of Sunsong reloading areas where time does not pass to warp out, which yeah. is another real benefit of having Sunsong. Drew will be able to check Red Ed Grotto when he gets the CAC. Yeah, so Drew's going to have three of the four checks that he knows about done. So he's going to get one thing. Is it useful thing? We don't know. Ooh. Yeah, and when he goes to Well, which I'm, I'm assuming he'll do while he's in Kakariko because it's really dense and like takes like four or five minutes. Uh, he's getting an extra item over Sponge, assuming Sponge doesn't stumble into some shoes here. Bonk. The, you really have to just say bonk whenever you hear the bonk noise. It's, it's a requirement. <laughs> Sponge also picked up a little health, which is... Interestingly, he chooses that one because it's a little out of the way. But I don't disagree with picking up a little extra health. Um, you don't want... you know, when, Particularly when you're playing this environment where it's... You know, it's not your, your it's not your comfortable setup. The it's a little cold in here. You're being watched by a whole room of people. Uh, you can twitch, and when you twitch, an iron knuckle hits you, and then you then you're dead, and it's really bad. If you save more time grabbing a little bit of health than you do not opening a couple of uh, chests. Chest, yeah. Exactly. Toilet's dead. Good hint. Yeah. Scrub was a scam as usual. The well is so far not been a. Well, part. there is that one. Oh, that's a hook shot. No, I thought that was a deck of shield. Oh, that's no. Never mind. That's a hammer. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're just both blind. Well, I saw I saw it sharp and pointy, and I always assume it's a hook shot in the well. It always seems like it's a hook shot there. All right, so that is not quite what we want. We know where our Goron tunic is. Both have beans for Adult Lake. I'm sure that uh. And I'm sure that Sponge is particularly happy to see that because he doesn't have that bomb bag yet. That is true. He'd probably be... prefer to have a. So, a, a chew pack or some bombs right now because uh, he knows that there is a bomb lock check here in Well and he does not have the bombs from in Kikiri Sword Chest. No. The first real divergence between our runners is making a big difference. Going to Kek directly for the paths, which makes sense, versus holding off and because he wants to get the skulls first. And getting some potentially fine bombs, which he did. So, which, and that's going to be really nice. We're going to get another hit here from the bomb grotto, and we'll check the scrub grotto next door as well. And Gans Castle Shadow Trial 2 is dead, it looked like. Which seems like a very irrelevant hint, because you're not, not getting, getting there, there without having <laughs> the thing you need to get the boss key. Yeah. Because DC is the only thing locking that, and we already have a bomb bag. Great, thank you. Fantastic. Yep. Well, just let, just if you were wondering, the life like in Ganon's Shadow Trial. And we already have later, so we really don't need anything from Ganon. Yes. Ganon's is confirmed dead today. Uh, we are going to be in Goma by the time we get there. 
what that probably means is there's a second copy of something that is not hintable as foolish available inside of Ganon's castle, like, say, a Zora tunic. Probably. Or maybe, like, an extra bottle or something. Yeah. I've heard uh, Wind Waker call it Baron Blockers. I'm like, that's a re reasonable way to think about it. You, it's not really useful, but it can block you from having a Baron ch check there. Yeah. Dungeons also just can't be foolish in these settings. Yeah, it's true. Big chest on dead hand. Is this, our, is this helpful? Uh, there's... Oh, that's a really good spot for a bomb bag. Yes, that is a very good spot for a bomb bag. I'm sure that he would have preferred to have this before going into the wild, both for efficiency's sake and because now uh, you have to decide, am I going to go climb up that long ladder to go get the one more check? Probably the answer is yes. Uh, um, I don't know that Redead Grotto is worth it because you're going back to Cactus That's true. You're anyway. going back to, you have to walk through as an adult. That's true. Like, like Cactus PG, I mean, that's going to be probably, that's a, probably an adult item. hook shot, which you're going to do not with uh, as a child, so yeah. Yeah, or potentially it could be Zerudo's letter. Which you would not want to see. Hey, choose. Ha! Ha! <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, that's just great. Sponge and the rest of us all laughing at that. <laughs> yeah, and good point as well. Hyrule Castle Path is available. That's true. You can go to that Hyrule Castle Path. I kind of forgot about that because I'm running my mouth. And that's probably one you're going to want to go for. We... I mean, is, all, is Game Onda coming through your left ear only? I can't actually tell. I can't tell either. Chat's asking. Which, now that I think about it, I think you're all right that it's only coming through my left ear. Yeah, I don't know, and I I think I'm hearing both, but it's fine. It's hard to tell. Anyway. Um, yeah, games have games got jokes on the thing. Yep. Yeah, Sponge is not going to bother with Reed at Grotto because he'll be back as a little anyway. Let's see what the song here is for Drew. That is Song of Time of questionable usefulness. We'd rather not see it. And I missed the hit there. Biggeron has a red ruby. I saw the, okay, that's the other copy because he saw one in Lake. And Sponge is now taking his time to check his items because I think this is the point where you're trying to just like, okay, I have a bomb bag now. Do I do Dodongo's Cavern? Yes. Yes, yes I do. Wonderful. Mostly that point is just, is Dodongo's Cavern my light medallion because... DC is so fast, and you've had such a little progression that you would probably want to be in there anyway. Yeah. Um, okay, Sigma, Fiesel, uh, audio? Game audio is only coming through on the left ear right now. Oh, we have chickens directly into dead. Oh, funny game. Um, in SFM there? Yep. So Drew's not going to have to do chickens, so... Uh, minor time save, sure. Mm -hmm. I think he'll probably still go there anyway, because the well is a really strong play, but haha. <laughs> A uh, 20 pack of chews, apparently, that was convenient. Nothing on Bomchu Bowling? I kind of zoned out on that. Nothing on Bomchu Bowling. Thank you. And it looks like Drew is going to grab some, some of these very awkward Chalgorn City checks on his way over to Kakariko. Not a bad idea. I mean, he, might as well, he has to get to Kak somehow, and this is not a bad way to do it. Yeah, I've definitely been talked with uh, people in, about routing Chalgorn City, and Drew is doing it really at the ideal time, which is it's... Ice Cavernous I Path to Phantom. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So uh, <laughs> my, my comment about Rudo's my comment about Rudo's letter being a path is uh, looking more prescient, isn't it? I really want to oh. see what this path to Goma is because I'm getting kind of concerned why we have three PG hot paths. Hot Rodder has a uh, so Hot Rodder has a slingshot. All right. Uh, so that is this going to be sitting behind Goma for Kakiri Sword here? Though. Yeah. So it's K Kakiri Sword adjacent. If this is a Kokiri Sword, then Sponge is going to go or Drew's now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and the answer is... There it yep. is. Is yep. Kokiri or Kokiri adjacent? And it's Kokiri. Yep. All right. So Sponge is going to probably go do that immediately. Still needs to get out of here, which is why he's playing Prelude, but I'd have to assume he gets going there, because things. Early, early clearable dungeon? Yeah, you take that. All right. So he's going to be doing not much. He's going to spend the next couple minutes hiking to Kokiri and doing Kokiri checks. Uh, so let's look at what Drew's up to. While Sponge goes hiking, because there's no pass there. Okay. Yeah, we have three Phantom Ganon paths, one Deku path, and no Twin Robot paths, which is really weird. Yeah. It is possible that the game just happened to. It just likes Forest Temple today. It Unless ever, unless I don't even know how you'd like. 
Uh, we should still get a Tornado Path because the game tries to give you one of each and then the rest is randomly selected. But I have to assume maybe Forest Temple is Hover's Lock and Hover's are somewhere exceptionally silly because I don't uh, know. I think, I think what we're looking at is that Ice Cavern has our forest access. And one so of the others is for letter. For letter, yeah. That would be why. Because otherwise it's really rare to get three PG paths, none of which are for the bow we've seen. Yep. <laughs> yeah. With Ice Cavern, it's like, okay, so it's a song. You, yeah. letter's probably you try and hold cat. out for all of your items and then jump over Mido's head. Yeah. <laughs> and letter's probably a gag somewhere. Yep. Which, good info. You still want to get it just because uh, there are two cat paths and one of them is probably your hook shot or strength. Yeah. This is very interesting. We're it's such a weird thing to get. It's kind of... Yeah. Yeah, this actually works out really well for Sponge as we get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is the other reason to not like get too fast, go too fast towards chickens or TCG because in these high high counts of a uh, sometimes hands, you sometimes just get told it's junk. Why did you bother? Uh, PG is Phantom DNA. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, for Speed Gaming Chat, I know some of you here are here from Speed Gaming, because we are not normally on the Speed Gaming channel, but typically with Zelda speedruns. So, if you have questions, please ask. Uh, we'll be happy to answer yep. them while we get enough. Yeah, Star is, a, Star is a very knowledgeable commentator and our, one of our tournament admins, and uh, hey, I was, I was, I was here. I, I played on stream yesterday, and it was kind of terrifying. <laughs> yep. I like Drew being at eight skulls here because you can get two very fast skulls in Kakariko. There's five dense skulls in Kakariko, but they're not good skulls in a lot of ways. Yeah, very. Particularly because, especially the Lodge Tower skull, which is finicky at the best of times if you don't have a ranged weapon. That one doesn't exist if you don't have a ranged weapon. It doesn't. It's too. Sh it just takes too long. Unless it's RSL and that's your first Ocarina there, because they're real that. Oh gosh. Random Settings League, uh, also known as... So if you heard, if you didn't like randomize, if you didn't want, like your randomizer not having uh, enough randomization, do you, get to, do you think you need it to be more random? What if it didn't tell you how random it was? Do you want that? Yeah, Spud just gonna get the, some health here again. Why not? And uh, also pick up those lights. I mean, considering Drew was running around on one heart for a hot second there, not bad. We're gonna see Ooh. what Redead Grotto is. If that uh, had worked, it would have been very pretty. That would have been really neat if he'd gotten it, but it was just slightly too far off to get the. Hitbox, because hitboxes are weird. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be Deku Tree that I expect Spun will be lost with some probably oh, you, can, cause... you can do You can do a non uh, setup broken stick there. Interesting. Very nice. Uh, showing off why they are on stage playing for a buy. Yeah. Alright, big chest. That's not surprising. It, it has our letter. I told you, Vegas. Told you. Yep, that makes sense. So, yes, Ice Cavern is technically required, but. Uh... So here's the question, is Ice Cavern required for the, just for the song, or is it required for the song and something else? Is there something else in there? Yeah, becomes the question. Ah, uh, the cla classic, um, Hyrule Castle Path of Queen Goma behind the Deku Tree. Ah, uh, yeah, that figure, that, yeah, that makes sense, Gabe does do that to you. It's like, you know, couldn't you give me something else while I was back here, I walked it, all the way over here? It can't be only the accessible copy, it hints to guarantee that at least one copy is available without the thing that's being hinted, but you can get these as adult, it's just slow. Yep, really, really slow. Uh, Unless you're finishing the forest temple, which we're not doing for a minute, and there's the other shadow chops you hit. About as helpful. Great. <laughs> and Ooh, stick. Cack archery is our Cack other archery. Oh, nice. Love that for us, really. Fantastic. Just what we wanted. It's good knowledge, I guess, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. Sponge will get both those path items and cack when he's back as well. Do those, get a DC, and then go figure out what Forest Apple's doing. Yeah, if you don't, if we don't have your, uh, I would assume at this point that you're dealing with. Oh, hold up, nope. Aha, another bow. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's why we didn't get the bow path figures. Yep. Yeah, if you, the whole thing with paths is that if you have co-logical things, you, if you can get to uh, the item without needing another copy of it, yeah. they're oh. not path. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Chad has a point. Rudo's letter locks three songs. <laughs> yep. One of which is on ice, one of which is on prelude, and one of which is on burning cack. Hmm, that's an interesting point, And also actually. OT, funny, so... Yeah, that's an interesting point, because... Actually, that's true. could probably know that this w there's a forest access song in Crater, and then covers or hook are locked behind you. Yeah, that's song. exactly it. Like, I'm thinking, um... You can't... Well, uh, well, there. never mind. Never mind. Uh, there. Okay, that just... That just nerfs about a fair few things. Alrighty, good finds. Uh, not... 
perhaps that required since Shadow's not a required It's not reward. required, but hovers do speed up a few things in fire, and it'll fire you don't want to go to either, um, but Blue Forest. Um, They're nice to have generally, and they can be potentially required since we still don't have a hookshot 41 minutes in. Yes. Because we don't know, it's probably either hookshot or strength on tack archery, but we don't know which. Exactly. It could be something else, but the odds of that are getting fairly low at this point. Yeah, the other thing I'm thinking about is that, you know, considering we have this, like, kind of tangle going on here, there's potential that Ice Cavern locks, that Hooper's Letter Ice Cavern locks for us in multiple ways, like perhaps if opponent's song is involved there, um, there could be the first hook shot over a GTG, because why not? Yeah, but the part of it, too, is that Ice specifically is the as well as the letter. Yes. But that means that, you know, there's three songs. It doesn't necessarily have to be... Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be our forest access, it's just our assumption. Yeah, it's our assumption that it's a forest access song, and I suppose it could be an item there as we get BGS. Well, can't complain, that's nice. Yeah, and again, that entire thing about, like, oh, this locks three songs, it could lock multiple, like, two songs that need. You can lock both our forest access songs and they're just like completely different and nice. Yep, we just don't know. Yeah. Hovers will help us figure that out because that gets us one more song mm -hmm. in the crater. Yeah, the, the moment you see, uh, the moment you see, like, Minuet and Crater, that's the moment you, you decide, go, okay, game, what you got for me today? Why do I need to go rush Ice Cavern? I mean, if you're Sponge, you're like, why haven't I rushed Ice Cavern already? <laughs> I, had, I had ZL and I had, a. Uh, I the yelled a bottle, like, ages ago. Speaking of Crater, here's the hammer for true. Oh, this is something you can do, huh? That's neat. I haven't really seen that much before either, pretty neat. Yeah, I haven't seen that before either, where you're... But it's a... It's like a tiny optimization, but if you just grab that flame, holding the deck of stick as per normal, you're within the, uh, Gibdo's scream rate range. Did I say something about, uh, getting health, <laughs> um... I it actually saves you time. I don't think he actually got to, to pick up the hammer before getting hit. He did either. not. So back there it goes. Yay. Yeah. So yeah. So you know, if you had one more heart, that would have saved you some time. Uh, also, I did. I literally blinked and I missed it. And Gumma is dead. Yep. No, I mean it is a pretty fast fight. Yeah. As long as you don't uh, get too cycle of shamed, as I call it when I do it. Yep. Oh, hi, it looks like Speed Game 4 got set up eventually. Wonderful. So, hopefully we should get a... We, I, we hope someone needs to go for the rescue staff battle, but hopefully we will have a second stream later today between Kanjo and Vidya. Yes, which is... Uh, again, another... Channel TBD, but with us keep more now of that should help. Yes. There's a lot of chaos. We had a couple of hard drive failures, apparently, which is one of the reasons uh, why we haven't had much in the way of Speed huh. Gaming live restreams. Is we still have need computers to do the restreaming from and yep. I won't go into the particulars because it's not the point and I don't know the specifics. But um, I also want to bring up a specific here though. Uh, just a thing I did not know because I've never died in that room before. Uh, if you die and come back, the keys are gone. Interesting. Okay. Just a little thing we learned today, and now we're I'm sure we're all the richer for it. Yep. All right, but so we're just not seeing anything new from either runner right now. So, honestly, um, at this point, I'm thinking we should probably be heading up towards Gor Adult Goron City. Finish uh, Kakariko, Adult Goron City. New DC. New DC. Yeah, get your early dungeons out of the way. See New what you're dealing DC, with. See what our final CAC path is. Uh, check our Crater song and then see what our Forest Temple access is at that point. Yeah, because I... Because we're a little far out still yet. I want to know if that's a hookshot or strength attack. And we want to... When we, and I'd like to check the crater song to have some idea of why ice is path. Yeah, that's... Because it's a little too convoluted right now to be certain. Yeah, if we get a hookshot, I think it would even be... Well, it would be warranted, depending on the song in crater, of course, to go to... Uh, just like bite or skip into forest immediately if you oh, but only if you get the hook shot. Um, if because you get I'm the thinking you might try and see if there's a strength available. Well, I was just thinking to go in and set for ores for later. Also that, yeah. Because uh, if you don't, if if that whole ice cavern nonsense is just because Saria's song is in ice cavern and locks minuet in some way, uh, I don't want to wait for. I'm I'd have to walk there anyway, and the ores win, we could bring you right back. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Sponge, if anything, I like sp Sponge's routing just happens to work out better because Juru's gonna have to make another trip back to Kokiri without Minyu after Deku. That's true, but as we said, like, this is, that's only true because there was two bomb bags and one of them happened oh, and to be Sponge as well. absolutely happened to get lucky, which is just how Rando goes. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's a little tiny routing differences that, you know, in theory, shouldn't matter, but then you find an item. Yep. Again, I'm sure. The other thing is that that rarely happens only once in a seed. Yep. So the odds of that really, like, kick fighting through the butt are almost zero. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just so much of the seed left. We are missing a lot for Spirit Temple. Our yeah. forest pads are a mess. <laughs> That's another option that Drew has at the moment with the uh, slingshot, is he could consi consider before he goes adult. Child Spirit. Child Spirit. I would probably do uh, uh, Deku first, just on the off chance you get on the wrong side of a keys. Yeah. So you don't have to buy another shield. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Drew, where are you going? Um, Drew, you don't have the sword yet. Boulder of Destiny? Maybe, but you would want to walk past it. I don't know. Money? Money, maybe. I, um, does he have it for bowling? Oh, he has done bowling. Yeah, that's, that's reasonable, I guess. Yeah, that does. Check it. Yeah, I guess we can also talk about while we see the through stuff we've already seen what this means for this group. Yes. You know, the status of group F here. Yeah, with status of group F, um, both of these runners have beaten two of the people in their group, so this is uh, deciding the group who is going to be getting first and second. And if you get a 3-0, you will be getting a bye, so that's pretty exciting. Pretty much. Because the way we have the tournament set up this year, so we have 24 runners, six groups of four players, top two from each we run for a 12-person bracket. So that means there are four buys and six first-place runners. Mm -hmm. So that will be determined based on record. Um, it is not likely we're going to get five 3-0s. Yeah, our, the groups right now are a little bit messy. There's a lot of matches going on today, so we won't know until later what you know what we'll exactly be looking at for tie breaks. I don't even think there. Are, I don't remember, but I don't think there are five potential trios out there. I think there might still be. It's just very low odds. Mm -hmm. It would require some very specific match results. Okay. Uh, but one of these will be three. The uh, we'll probably have like two or three, maybe. Mm -hmm. I do expect at least two more trios. I believe. Yeah. Um, it's not guaranteed because Rando will Rando, but it is likely we'll get at least two more three O's. And then the the two ones will probably end up playing for whatever buy spots are left. Exactly. So uh, we will also potentially have a three-way tiebreaker because we've got a lot of good runners here. And there's a few different ways of silliness it can go, depending on several different match results. Because Star, I have a question. My blinder is there no slingshot in the tracker? There is not. Okay. Does Sponge have a slingshot? Uh, I don't think he went to Goron City. He did not do Hot Router, no. So he will need to get Bomb Juice or another Slingshot or the Boomerang to be able to get, fit, to get into Child Spirit if that's necessary. Yeah, that could be a potential bit of a time lapse for him later to have to go back Child for that, but we'll see. I mean, if you're going back Child to do Child Side Spirit because it's required, that's not really a time loss. Well, if Drew gets that in this Child Side, right, right. that would be a time save for him. Yeah. Just a little nice little Sponge doesn't have shoes though, because that wasn't a well, remember? Oh, yeah, that's true. So Sponge is actually fine. Like, he could have gone and done that then. Just chose not to, which is yeah, which also is fair. Fine. Just, I mean, it just may come back to bite later. We don't know. Yeah. I, I would kind of like getting that child spirit done just earlier because. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Also, it's without a fire source. Um, you can get locked out of Adel's side. Yeah, I would consider. Hold it. And also, there's. Complicated, complicated spirit key logic nonsense, TM, that could put a first strength somewhere in spirit and have it be somewhere where you could, uh, or a second strength somewhere in spirit, and you could just snipe that early and get into forest early. Yeah. Do one walk there. Which could be nice, but we, will, we won't, and we can dairy craft all we want, but at some point oh, yeah. we'll just have to see how it goes. But he is going to go for adult cack now as Drew heads back to Kokiri, and is going to go beat Deku, so we're not seeing anything new from Drew for a minute. Let's see what that cat tree is for our final cat path. Yeah, that will help snap some of this together. Because this will inform a decent amount of sponges routed coming up. Yeah, I'm really unsure about, uh... 
think it really should be a, st a strength upgrade or a hook shot because I can't think of much else that would make more convoluted. There's could not, be a boomerang. It could be boomerang because not much else right now. There's not a lot of that we can find that would give us a check that could have hook shot or boomerang. Uh, hook shot or strength. It could yeah. be a boomerang, but we already have hammer. We. Um, we don't want the seed ins. I'm thinking about the worst case scenario where we have uh, the song in Ice Cavern is not my forest access, and I need to, I need to get something off of a brain cat uh, of the prelude. Uh, that's why I really want to see what's here. Exactly. And if this is boomerang, then we have uh, we're going back, child, for Chavu. Yeah, and then we are sad. Um. <laughs> And then we're doing a cavern like that would just make for a that would be Boomerang's the comedy option for us and the early game run it for the runners. Yeah. Again, there's it's just important to keep in mind and keep your mind open when you're playing. It's like okay, odds are this is this, but it could be. Yeah, we'll see. But be prepared for dumb shit for you've done stuff because uh, you just need to be flexible. Like if this shows up as a boomerang, what do you do? Like if you, if you expect a hook shot, you get a boomerang. What do you do after that? Like I was having that go DC first, just to oh, yeah. clean things up, up a bit. But a uh, boomerang is like, uh, yeah, I think it wouldn't change your immediate routing very much. It's Din's fire. Oh, uh, that's not is Nocturne's probably in the crater then, or that's it, the Nocturne's thing. in ice cavern, <laughs> or Nocturne's in ice because that's the other comedy option we could have got. Uh, <laughs> so Drew Sponge, I don't apologize for saying I wanted to see Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> okay, so Boomerang, I mentioned Cat Creek. Uh, this is a possibility briefly. Yeah, um, I, grift, I give the command for the path, I realized. I wrote down this letter in the ice path entry for some reason, uh, because you need to get some of these, I guess. Bring Quint, I use this. All right, let's see. Written this letter in Vince Fire R2, Crash the Pendant, getting in Cat, of all things. Um, hello, game. What? This is the moment where you're like, you know, this was not what I expected, but at least it's interesting. Oh, it's great for us. Our runners are probably like, what did I get? Yeah, honestly, uh, I actually, as a runner, this is something I would be happier seeing in this kind of layout. Um, second toilet in, by the way, in DC. Um, right. Because if it's just pointing you to, uh, here's the one, here's your things, one, two, three, four, five, go get them, it becomes an execution race, and it becomes a race to who got to the hints first. And if you find one of those hints off the path, feel great. If you miss, if you're trying to find that hit, you're thinking the entire time, okay, what if it's just a little off the path and I missed it? Um, there's a wallet. Mm, don't like that. Um, yeah, it's like, it's, so this is actually probably a better scenario for the runners, seeing this kind of like semi questionable thing. Okay, Drew, that was unnecessary, but it looked nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, we don't have an OT command because in these settings, Burning Cat is the equivalent to OT because the OT is whichever. We're doing the three stones anyway for Cat Bridge Access, but Burning Cat is the one that can kind of suck. Yeah, Burning Cat is the one where you're doing unrequired dungeons. Three non-required dungeons. No, non-required, but non-required for access. Yeah, not guaranteed required. Dungeons. Also, can just like shout out Drew's really smooth flame sword? Is like the one upstairs was unnecessary, but this one is necessary. Also, he's doing a variant on Bean Skip that, you know. Yeah. Or he's gonna just fail it and do a ground jump, but that's fine. Yes, Spud in the hand has missed the stairs. There we go. Yeah. Again, this who is hasn't? a bit of a different setup than usual for for everyone. Uh, and again, and who so, hasn't, right? You and, try to uh, go a little fast and you fall, you fall a little short. And uh, you know, we're not exactly a peak physical performance either. We oh are, gosh. We have, we you know, we have, we go out, we have fun, we eat dinner, we mayor, you know, we get drinks together and whatever, and all sorts of stuff. Like Jackson and I had dinner together last night. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, um, had some very good dumplings. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but yes, like. You know, we're not exactly on the greatest sleep schedule ever. Yeah, yesterday we were. Uh, yesterday was a very fun day because we had just, we had a group outing that the people who came back earliest got back after midnight. So yeah, <laughs> might explain some of your performances during the day. Yeah, it's this is you know just it's, it's the live best. part is real. Yes, <laughs> very much. I mean, but that's part of the fun of these events is getting the chance to meet people in person and do things that are not just playing video games. But we do the playing video games too. I mean, that's again, we had another blink and we missed it with Drew. Very good. Yep. If you don't notice the Goma happening, it went well. 
All we're saying is stars on the rain page as soon as it hits 7.30 p.m. Oh, no, Kalo. Uh, I am very much the sober person. In, sign in part, I am allergic to alcohol. Uh, is don't listen to her. She's, 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 uh, she may not, be, uh, may not be drinking with us, but she's causing plenty of trouble. I'm more like I'm trying to fix everyone's troubles. <laughs> <laughs> there are special challenges that come with organizing in parks and troubles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's also just great fun. Huh? Yes, it's a good time. Um, let's see. Huh. huh. Alright, uh, back adult for Drew, having finished Deku, then... We're gonna just see him do cack into DC, I assume. Yeah, get it to inspire, probably make a face at it. And go, what did. Okay, why? <laughs> yeah. But you have to go up Goron City, check it out Goron City, go to Crater, check what the song band is, because that's hugely important at this point with everything that we've got going on. Yeah. And then, uh. Figure, and then that song's probably gonna form what they do next. Exactly. I. Like, if it's Nocturne, I'd probably Honestly, go take a look at Shadow Temple. I'm pretty happy with the full thought of uh, this being kind of a weird, convoluted uh, seed, because we get to see more of these runners. <laughs> right? Like, if this was... Because this, this looked like it might have been a jet seed with only four core dungeons and these two runners, but it looks like this one might be a bit messy. It's got a couple secrets for them. Yep, yep. You're in Shadow Temple, y'all. Yep. Um... <laughs> The Dense finding fire was that, probably uh, fire for that anyway, because we know it's not for Wasteland, because that's foolish, and we can't well, get there. Spirit Temple. There's two fire lock checks in Spirit. But that also kills that completely. Yes, yeah. so seeing those fire arrows is actually really helpful for these runners. It's like That's confirming, no, you're going to Shadow Temple. Don't put it off. Just do it when you can do it. Because yeah. there's something you need in Shadow Temple, and I'm assuming it's a hookshot or a strength at this point. Yeah, I, this it's unlikely to be beta at the rate we're going. It, it can't be. Like, oh, it could be boomerang. Oh dear. Um, it could be boomerang for prelude the worst or thing is but the worst just, thing is gonna be boomerang. Boomerang for prelude. Speak for prelude. Check having our forest access, I guess. But even then, I don't know. It's just. It's I just, think before you committed to that, you would go check. Uh, you would have to just go check. Uh, Sacred Forest Meadow to see if your minuet's there. <laughs> Nocturne can't be on OT if Dins is pad, because Dins has to be pad for Shadow Temple and Forest is a stone. If Nocturne was on OT, then Dins pad would make no sense, because yep. it Dins only locks Shadow Temple in this situation. We have a bow. We can't use our fire arrows. Yep, that is not a problem. Yeah. Yeah, Nocturne cannot... Nocturne is going to be somewhere around here. Eventually, hopefully, I think. Drew does not react at all. Drew is just staring into the middle, middle distance, seeing uh, Din's fire like we all are. Um, <laughs> actually, I'm excited about it. But... Yeah, that little bit of inefficiency, and I mean inefficiency is with serious quotation marks, um, because... Just the order of checks yeah. they did. Which both made sense, it just happens to be, as Rando goes, that sponges ended up being a little bit better. No, Drew didn't do Child Spear either, so we're not seeing that for a bit. Yeah, I think that's fine. You don't have any real indication. Ooh, Sponge is going to go for the hint in the Storm's Grotto, which I definitely agree with. We're missing information. Do you want to know what your twin of attack is? Also, applause for Super Metroid. Looks like they just finished their race next to us here. All the, all the restreams are going on in the same room, so it's a little chaos. Um, it's fun, though. Yeah, GG's to them, I guess. Yeah. I believe that was on Speed TV 3 if I'm reading. Yeah. Drew and I were talking about uh, this yesterday, that we were both kind of... While we were playing, we were sort of spectating the Link to the Past match that was going on next to us, because it's hard not to notice the Light World, Dark World transition in, your, in the corner of your vision. Yeah. <laughs> And a confirmed restream will be on Speed Gaming 4 for the restream later today at 8 p.m. Um, so I believe Dasa is currently out figuring that out. My co admin. Wonderful. Yeah, now, Drew's gonna get all the goodies from out of uh, DC. Uh, they get his confirmation that it's not just for spirit. Yeah. Uh, they. Happy one hour, everyone. And um, yes, we have a bottle that was one of the earliest checks. Woods Target is dead. That's a good one. Already done that, but. Take it. Yeah, I guess actually, yeah, no, no, they did get this. Well, yeah, well, Sponge got, got yeah, Drew got the slingshot. Sponge will get the slingshot. Well, the slingshot's on hot rods, so it's kind of a yeah, minor thing, I guess. Not a yeah. big deal either way. Potentially required for Deku, but who cares? Hey. 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 
Let me put it neither of our runners have purchased a shield yet. Yeah. I think I was literally talking with both of you yesterday about how it saves you time in the long run, so I think we'll probably see a little bit of money routing for that. Um, I think that's what we're seeing right now from Drew. Again, because pro tip for everybody who's uh, running this, if it seems like, oh, I'm, aren't, aren't you going to be wasting time if you pick up a little more health or if you uh, go buy a shield? Like, no, it saves you time in the long run. That's why people do it. Yeah. Uh, I love using uh, the first person item city peaks like that. It's so nice. It is. All right, song and crater. What is that? Maybe you had a full. Okay. Okay. Yeah, ice is not bait then. Yep, ice is important. I is ice hookshot to go get to do shadow for strength, or sh or uh, it's nocturne or, to go do shadow to get a hookshot. Actually, yeah, it's probably nocturne for shadow. Great, yeah, we're um, rushing. I think uh, I think we're watching Sponge do the same thing we're doing in real time right now, just like you know, gesturing, kind of be like, but if this means this, and this means this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, that's actually good information though. Yeah, go do the thing. Nothing on DMC Fairy it looked like there, which, yeah, figures. Yeah, we're doing Shadow Temple. At least the scene's making it really obvious you're going Shadow Temple. <laughs> Again, I, I'll take the blame for this. It's my fault. <laughs> I called. I, I asked for it. And yes, Minuit helps them get to ice faster. They'll get also get a suck up. You know. Yeah, that Minuit is freely available, not behind our cat pads. Uh, it's, we have a hover pair of hover boots from Deku Tray, which is not behind that. Uh, Additional biggest fish hint and cold please. More bomb shoes. Bomb shoes. Bomb shoes and pink chests is uh, one of the Elagatua specials of both Triforce Blitz and the SGL Live settings. Um, it is a nice thing to have as far as early game when you're thinking this would be nice to have. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a second, fourth copy. Um, yep. you know, this is nice. Make sure I'm not missing my early bomb juice, but late game it's just so. Uh, is this more? Is just is this I, the last thing I need, or is this more bomb juice? Yep. All right, hit here is Deku Path to Twin Rova for the uh, your fun game. That's for the hover boots. Oh dear. Okay, so this. Probably for Nocturne. For probably, yeah. Or that might be for Minuet access to go, or for Shadow Temple. Probably, really. That's probably. Yeah, it's Minuet access is one, and so could, there could be something of interest over at. Could be, or honestly, it's probably hovers for Shadow because Shadow is clearly and obviously required. Yeah, this could just be that we're just being. If there's just a hook shot in Shadow and everything else is eaten up. It's gross. We'll, we'll gross. be seeing. Sponge will be answering yeah, it's our either questions a hook here. Shot, it's either a first strength or a hook shot in Shadow and Bone Pact of Spirit. Yep, right. So sadly, that's not going to help us find our mirror shield. Womp. Yep. Also, and I am that not surprised. Sponge chose to go from through the shortcut because I because uh, you could have gone from Minuet. You would have had to take the boy out and had to walk back, but you also could have gotten a little more information from that song. Yeah, I guess it doesn't super matter. We already have the SFM hints, and we're not getting into Forest Temple. Yeah, I suppose that's true. You can just go straight I mean, from there to... Our missing songs are Serenade, which we don't need. Epona's uh, Song of Questionable Helpfulness, and Saria's Song of Questionable yeah, Helpfulness. Yeah, so let's just... Uh, we actually have a technique thing going on here, because I'm just about to do a shield list King's Aura skip. Oh, yeah. This is... A skip that was discovered completely by accident about you know, almost two years ago now, I think. I do find it interesting. I find it uh, kind of bold to go for this, uh, you know, in this situation, do, go for a shield, uh, shield list because it's, uh, as you can see, Sponge is doing what's called an ESS turn, which is uh, not the easiest thing to do in the world when you're trying, when you're twitching. And there you go. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, ESS turn. You can, the, the joy of fixed movement in this game. Um, 
is something I did not fully appreciate for a while, but the fact that you have very, Link does very specific things and very specific stats means that you have a very clear idea of where you're going to end up when you do specific movements, and with that, with that jump slash ESS turn, that's apparently one of the ways it works. Yep. Um, I guess Sarasan could give, me, give you some information, but it really doesn't. You don't need it at this point. It's not hovers our path to Phantom Ganon technically, but we're basically assuming because Shadow Temple and Dins is getting to be big red arrows pointing at it. We're going Shadow Temple, so yep. like we're going to Folk their Ice because we're here, and there could be like our Mirror Shield. There's no reason the Mirror Shield can't be here. Yes, um, it could be one of Hookshot or Strength here, and the others in Shadow. We just don't know. Really. No, we do not. Um, we do need two strengths. One of them is going to be somewhere on our Phantom Ganon path, and that's potentially the other is a who knows. Oh, it doesn't have to be somewhere on our Phantom Ganon path. That's the sad part. Why is SG not 8% setting? Well, serious answer though, since some of SG chat might not be aware of this. They do have a pretty significant cash prize for this tournament. Uh, donations to that close to non uh, tonight at midnight. But um, if anyone's start, interested, if it was nice percent race, it'd be really cold cash. <laughs> yeah, but we currently have a prize pool of two thousand and thirty-six dollars. I think assuming it's up to date before the bonus, which we are coming in slot for five hundred extra. Um, so uh, yeah, we don't want to go too wacky. Yep. Well, Segway Speed Racer is asking: um, Is fire, Deep Fire an option for Hook? Yeah. We're mostly just uh, spitballing about um, it being behind in, in Shadow Temple because we have a Din's Fire path to uh, Phantom Ganon with existent fire arrows, which means there is something that we need for Phantom Ganon in Shadow. And we also have a Hover Boots path to Twin Rova, which means that it just feels like we're being sh funneled towards the front of Shadow as our option. Yeah. Also note, fire is strength locked for deep fire, and we probably we are not well, sequence breaking out of logic on required fire right now. Well, when you have better things to do, certainly. Um, yeah, deep fire, but that wouldn't stop it being hookshot, and there just being a this this whole thing. But we want strength. to know what is in shadow first. Oh, it? of course. We want to figure out shadow before we start going off on other things. Oh yeah, it's definitely. But I'm saying, is it Hook an shot. option? It, it is. It's it, an option. It's just not one we're going to do right now. Yeah, not the best Check. option, but it's an option. Yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff exists. <laughs> and Ice Arrows. Ice Arrows. Funny. Ice Arrows is nice. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes more sense for them to be there than in GTG. Yeah, Drew's going to check the minuet check, so we will see this this uh, song, which is going to be interesting. Hovers are looking hot shot potentially. What I think hovers are is that's part of the whole let's go Shadow Temple because the seed really wants us to go. <laughs> yeah, that's sorry song. And, uh, I'm not surprised. That's rude. I'm not surprised, but... I mean, they could have done nice a while ago, but it didn't get what it did because we did we did know what the situation looked like then. Yeah. Ooh. Wait a second. Yeah. Yeah, you could have gone nice very early in the seed, but well, they, not to. They wanted more information before they made that play, I think, yeah. and that's a fair thing. We did know that the seat is apparently screaming at us to go do this into Shadow Temple. <laughs> yeah, no, at, the, at that point, at that point when I was joking about rushing ice, uh, we didn't have the hint that ice was required. No. And at that point, they had no items really. So well, they, no, they had. Hey, they had ZL and, and they had ZL in a bottle. That's enough to win at ice percent. Yeah, but they wanted more information on the seat. Yes, absolutely. That. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, because this is a tournament race, and they want to get the buy. Yeah, exactly. They do not want to go do ridiculously silly things. Like, I don't know. Uh, Sponge has been making ridiculous side bets, so I'm not sure uh, how certain I am about that statement. <laughs> I guess. And that's what I think is side bets and nothing to be actually to make good race. Uh, all right. Listen, I'm still, waiting. I'm still waiting for him to make good on the one that I, when he made with me. He's, I told him he had to do it. Hovers could be path for menu at access for strength two and fours, but it's also just probably path for Shadow Temple in all reality. We're, we're it's definitely path for Shadow Temple. Let's put it that way. Which means we def we're definitely looking at something that is going to be yeah, even if even if hookshots you know floating out around out there, that still only two checks in Shadow Temple are not hard hard hover boots locked. Yeah, assuming even yeah even with hook hook hookshots. Hey, big chest. Which is our first hook shot and Nocturne. Yeah, that's strength in, strength in shadow. Yeah, probably. 
that checks. So that's a very important ice cavern. Extremely. That hookshot is not hovers locked. Just as a side note, covers yeah. are not from Inuit access. Yep. But we know it's for Shadow Temple anyway, so, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so Sponge basically has an ice, a nice cavern of lead right now. That's about the difference, yeah. So, in this situation, do you just go yeah, straight to... Kayla, you ha I, I would go in. I will go do KC, but... Uh, yeah. Honestly, I would just take that bottle with me at this point. Yeah. I, mean, I can't think of anything else I'd want it for. Yeah. Well, if you want her into fire, maybe. Yeah, Kalo, we're going to Shadow. Uh, that hook shot absolutely could. I mean, if even before that we saw that hook shot, this has to be for Shadow Temple. Right? There's not. Ex we've seen many yet, we've seen Saria's. No, there was no bait to be had. You need two well, strengths for Spirit. Yeah, actually, it could be we could be looking at a mirror shield and shadow, and just completely nonsense strengths. But because we're looking at two paths to oh no fire right 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 no Dins is the road for Phantom Ganon right right never mind. I, I guess when hovers are definitely for shadow I guess Kalo but now that we've Ooh. seen hook shot hovers are definitely for shadow. Can you show me how to do that I've been trying to figure it out. You got the, uh, there's a neat little, almost neg completely negligible time save you can do with hover boots there. Or you can backflip back onto the top of the uh, stairs there in, in ice. It does, it does a nice couple seconds, yeah. Yeah, it's it feels really good though, and it looks really stellar. Like, I think that's the first one of Drew's, like, you know, nice little flourishes he's done that actually didn't save the appreciable time. But, uh,. He's making it look good out here. I'll say that. Their hovers are for both Force and Twin Rova. The seed's pretty clearly telling us to go Shadow Temple. It's, uh... <laughs> it's... Dins is confirmed path. It's one of the only two things we found in Double Path to PG Cac. Uh, it has to be Dins, and we have fire arrows and a bow. Yep. Dins is for Shadow Temple. Hovers are also for Shadow Temple. It might be hover force, might be hovers locked, but we kind of don't care because Dins is. <laughs> yeah, hovers locked forest is a very unlikely thing to happen to begin with. But uh. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very unlikely to happen in the first place, and it's also very rarely relevant. Yeah. Both runners know big players, perhaps, and that's also just not the issue here. Yeah. The only reason you'd be interested in having hover boots for Forest is the very, very rare case where you need to get into the courtyard without bow or song time. Yeah. Well, that's super duper, just uncommon. Yeah. It's. I would say it's rare, not very rare, but rare. It's not something you see. Oh, it's not something you see like every other seat. It's like every. Also, that other, you point out that that's not hover's lock, which means that these first two checks can be the only useful thing. These first two checks, as far as this path, is going to be a key. Yeah, there could be a. Well, the spirit path. There could be a mirror shield in these first two checks, but this won't be a strength upgrade. Right? Well, it can be a strength upgrade. Right? It won't be a mirror shield. No, it could. Or be. it wouldn't be second mirror shield because this is not hover's locked. But hovers would lock a strength for why hovers are twin robot path. Yeah, so basically, if Mirror there is something anywhere. here, there is another thing deeper in Shadow. Yeah. It can be it can be a strength, some combination of strength from here. Strength is. It won't be both. <laughs> strength has to be in. Uh, strength almost has to be in here because something has to be locked. Oh, well, strength is in here, but there could be strength and Mirror Shield in here. Yeah. Mirror Shield could be in these first two checks. Strength cannot because it's not. No, strength could be here. Oh, strength could be here. Mirror Shield could be here. But both strengths couldn't be here. Wait. Yes. I think it has to be one strength and a hundred. Well, no. some... You know what? Dins is path to forest, so... It, Dins so is anywhere in shadow, and then hovers are past the first two checks of shadow. Yeah. Either way, the answer is there isn't anything here, so this is all academic, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, well... Yeah, but strength could be in the first two checks just because it's only Dins and Locks Forest for strength one. Exactly. And you can have Mirror Shield or the second strength there as well. But you can't have... We well, we don't have, have three things there anyway. Well, we couldn't have two both strengths in the first two checks. You could. And the, the Mirror Shield have to be deeper. Yeah. Something... But Actually, I no, it wouldn't have to be deeper. 
but and, and then strength three would have to be strength two locked. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this is this is all academic at this point. Everything because the past two checks were junk, so yeah, we're at the hover we're point. Here. But yeah, the question is, the you know the subtext here is how deep do you go in shadow? Hi, Trez. I was wondering what Chad was talking about. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but no, the um, yeah, the subject here is how deep do you go in shadow? Like, if you find something early, do you stay? Do you go? Um, it depends on what all they find, and it depends on where they are. Like, they they do have furors. I I would consider setting it here. Um, potentially, it looks like we're going at least or it would be a the shortcut, depending on where we are by the time we get. Honestly, if I see, if I I almost never consider opening the shortcut in shadow. I say if I'm already that far back, I just you're committed it already. I think it depends, because we're... It's hard, to, it's hard to say. Um, because we're... We know there basically has got to be a strength in here. Um, um, unless... Unless things are weird, but and you know we get a boomerang in here to go get a strength out of Jabu, in which case... Our then I expect to see some, like, some fun reactions from these two. Oh, they will have... They will definitely have opinions if they get a boomerang in here. They will also keep going if they find a boomerang, because they don't want I don't boomerang. want it to be the boomerang, yeah. <laughs> No, I think that, like, again, this is, like, I've done Shadow so many times. I I think my Shadow is, I can, I can easily run Shadow in 14 minutes or less. Um, if I've already gone up to the boat, I've done most of Shadow already, and it takes longer to get back than it does to just, just clear, go yeah. and clear it. Yeah. It's, we'll have to see. Like, we, we can theory craft a lot. And we, and we do need to kill some Honestly, time, really my good. thought, my thought about where you would, where you'd bail here if you had the option would be, um, in the room after, in the room with the two redeads of the four, where the hookshot lock starts in shadow. Uh -huh. Because you said floors win there anyway. Yeah. Oh, I should add, by the way, we do have the fairly rare logic case where we are Shadow Temple without a strength upgrade. There are two strength log checks in here. Oh yeah, this is actually important to pay attention to. There are two checks that are going to be in the room after the one that Sponge is in. The one's on top of the spike traps. It is logic. not in logic to do that. So if you're trying to hunt down a strength, that's an important thing to know. Uh, so if there are keys there, yeah. It's just something funny to know is that if we find a strength up there, that's actually strength. Too. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's like, this is a well-known logic quirk. Um, I, it's just something you don't tend to think about because everyone backslips through, which is a, technically a clip, so it's not in just logic. You're logically supposed to, hey, big chest, pull a strength for it, block for it, and gold scale is not, uh, was not on my radar. Um, Thanks, game. Lab dive. Well, that lab dive, and we're not miss we don't have iron boots, so. Uh, tech tight. Uh, tech tight. Okay, and that's Neither of us peak tech tight, because why would you peak tech tight if you didn't have a phone and you didn't go GTG from the front? That is not what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, that's an option. That's a choice. That is like one of the most. That is like the last. I didn't even think of gold scale as an option to be honest. I mean, <laughs> gold scale is just like if that is our path item. That's just like you know, a strength upgrade or a boomerang with extra steps. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess we can also pay attention to if there's keys on top of here. That's something that's really important. If you and if you are a you know if you are a runner, you're paying attention to that because knowing where, particularly when you need two strengths, if only one strength, maybe you can be like kind of play a little fast and lose with it. Yes, we do have to keep a strength lock in shadow, but it's not. Yeah, it hasn't picked it. Right now, we can still get through the next door without going out of, str out of our logic. But at least one key. Okay, one key is strength lock. Yeah, so one strength lock key. The fun part in shadow is when you have. That's one strength lock key, and then the chest before the last key door is a strength. Yeah. And then you're supposed to logically you're backtrack. You're supposed to backtrack and go get in, ride the boat again, and like, y'all, no, I'm not doing that. I'm jumping through the stupid traps. You can't stop me. <laughs> you're not my mother. Yeah, Bongo is only Bongo is strength locked right now. Um, they, no. No, this is, a, this is the last room they can do without strength if they don't get their key. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah. And Vicky, well, last week, which is not going to help with the strength. Either. Yeah, so if there's a strength in the shadow pot, oh, excuse me, strength. If there's a key. Well, I guess that's, if there was a strength too, I guess. Um, if there's a strength slash key in the shadow pot, that would put us in logic to go through this next door. I don't think anyone is going to not do that. I think even if you th even if you think it, it, even if you think this. Even if you don't get a key or a strength here, I think you keep going. Yeah, the only reason you even consider bailing here would be if you had Serenade. Like, you set don't. that FW, 
it's like, play serenade, check lab dive, but I don't like, even think that's worth it. Water's pre completed. You really don't want to hike all the way to Adult Lake, especially because we have an Adult Lake camp. We know that it's a Goron tunic there, which mm. we don't need. I will say, though, this is a. Uh, one of those like extreme. We are strength locked out of shadow. We yeah. are strength locked out. No, of we're not. Shadow. That's a boomerang. That's a. Why is that a? We're strength locked out of shadow, and that's a boomerang. Um, I don't like. Either. I thought it was a Deku stick for the moment. That's a boomerang. I I just I hate that for us. Um, this is the. <laughs> so um, the seed is having. The seed is having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Kalo called it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Good job, Kalo. You are you secretly shadow. here? <laughs> Kalo is. is a, you have to clear this place looking for what is going to be a logical strength too, or your your Yeah, you do. You have to. Like, I, I, you do. You clear it. <laughs> but you also know. But I also would think that if they don't find anything here, they're going to go Jabu. And pull and do lab dive on the way there. Yeah, that's a that's a good option actually. Because you can do lab dive as well with a cold scan. I, I don't think there's a great way to route lab dive otherwise. <laughs> Even so, like, I, yeah, I'm just trying to think of how you minuet to south field to minuet to river to domain to mm. lake. Yeah, I guess this one you'd route it. Or you could do South Field, pick up those three checks they haven't done. Uh, yeah, they could do South Field. Hey, hey big we chest. got a big chest. Are you going to be something that's reasonable, or are you just a pack of juice? Strength, strength two. two. Okay, we okay. got strength two. Okay, so th yeah, makes the that is logical strength two, but that does pay off. Um, yeah, and Sponge is going to set his FW here, and I think that's very reasonable. I think the... You've gotten your strength two, your mirror shield might not be here, and you probably should find your logic at some point. And you're just gonna go do forest and see if you trip trip across strength three and a or mirror shield, yeah. a mirror shield exactly. And again, you have everything you need to you need to finish forest, not in logic, but when have we paid attention to well, we paid attention to logic, but when have we uh, followed its instructions? Yeah. All right. So I have updated our hit command. <laughs> yep. Gold skill worth boomerang is why Din's fire is path to PG. Great. Uh, love that. Love that. Fantastic. Just the thing we wanted. Honestly, it's in Jabu at this point, isn't it? Just in, no, it's not. It's not the song. It's just in Jabu, just because, just to make your life terrible. Just, to, just because. It could be Saria's song on Prelude. Saria's song oh, is a. Uh, no, Epona's song. Epona song could be on Prelude for the path for why boomerang is the path. But yeah. Uh, at this point, we're just in, you know, Prudos letter might be double path for shenanigans. We also have, may I pull, do we have our burning cack in? Yes, it's Blair. Okay, yeah, then we're fine. Okay. All right, the forest temple is progression here for Sponge. And Drew, I it, it would expect, continues here. The like Sponge oh, yes, that he's, strength. he's going after that strength. He's going after the strength deeper in Shadow because that's a pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious that those, there's going to be something else here. Uh, you have to continue. You know it's not logical strength one. Both runners know that is a logically locked key, but they don't care because they want. Because strength two, because that strength two could have been in here, and it was, and Mirror Shield could have been back here too. And maybe it is. Yeah, don't know. And I expect Drew will also set for Roars here. Yeah. I think that before the boat is the place to set for Roars, definitely. Mm -hmm. Drew's for Roar is... I don't know where, but he doesn't need it. <laughs> I don't think... I don't even know he has it set, he has it set anywhere. I mean, this is really only our third, our third adult dungeon. The previous two were DC and Ice, and you don't use for Roars in either, so... Yeah. Yeah, this is, he doesn't have it set. The only reason he would set Ice would be to come back after moving the king, and well, neither of our runners were planning on doing that nope. until they saw that boomerang. Yeah. And now the boomerang is just like a game, can you not? Like, they're both absolutely hoping they find logical strength to reinforce. Also, this is, the shadow is proving one of the many maxims of shadow, that it's only a go mode shadow when you don't need to do shadow. Yeah. And there is going to be a Furores and Lee. Or maybe a, maybe an Ice Arrows. <laughs> that was a that would help. <laughs> yeah, Ice Arrows do absolutely nothing in logic. Sad. 
Yeah, Juro's gonna follow Sponge to Forest here. I'd be more surprised if he went anywhere else. Yeah, you're definitely going into Forest. It's progression, you clear it. And forest takes one Forest Temple. Yeah, and there's not really, there's not gonna be a waste of speed up, really. Yeah, I think that's one of the things when you're looking at a... It. They've got covers, they will be keeping Furores in Shadow. No Furore strats here, they don't save that much time anyway, and they know their opponent's also not using Furore strats, because you have to imagine your opponent did the same thing here. Yes, Which... and also, looking at this, like, what what would you want to make this go faster other than, like, having your FW back? Long shot? There's no guarantee you're getting long shot. No. And so you might as well just go do the, th the go do progression. This is one of the things that is very different between Ocarina and a lot of other randomizers. Um, particularly thinking about uh, Wind Waker. Um, there isn't really an optimal loadout. If you can finish a dungeon, it is very rare for there to be a, a loadout that makes it so much faster that it's worth putting off. Like, you might save a minute or two, but a minute or two could easily be wasted trying to find your optimal loadout. Mm -hmm. So you just very rarely are going to be waiting for a better loadout to do a dungeon. Mm -hmm. like, the only exception might be uh, a bottle or... Uh, doing a bottle or doing um, a tunic to do fire. Like, that's the only exception I can think of, because if you have, like, three hearts fire, yeah. that's not gonna fly, man. <laughs> no. Sorry, using the opportunity while we see Forest Temple to, to check up on Discord, because uh, stuff tends to implode on me a bit at times. <laughs> Better use of your time than napping. Thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so again, we we can see that Sponge is about a Forest Courtyard ahead, maybe forest court, half a Forest Courtyard ahead. Helper uh, Skultula there, Helper Waltula. Yeah. Um, but again, our runners have been very well matched through the entire seed, which is... not what we've expected from our two here. Oh yeah, this has been riveting, actually. Like, yeah. unironically riveting. Only significant divergence was Sponge doing Child Cack and before Kokiri and Drew doing the reverse. And so that Drew just, had to make like, another lost a little trip. bit of time with uh, having to walk back. Yeah. yeah, which lost a couple minutes, and that's where we see the difference is a couple of minutes. Yeah, so we'll see. This is but it's so really linear. Yeah, it's been super linear, but... We don't know where Rear Shield is. Oh yeah, this is the and, do, and how much do our runners choose to follow logic versus this logic sucks? Let's do something else. At this point, this you, you pay attention to the strength logic. Yeah, you have to keep it in mind. I don't know how much you follow it, if per se, depending on what you find here, but you have to remember it. Yeah, you have to pay attention to it because because of where our strength is, we know that both of our strengths are at least strength one locked, and there's just not much strength one locked out in the world. No. If you don't find your second strength. If you don't find strength three here in forest, then you really, really need to pay attention to that. Yeah. Because, you know, people brought up deep fire earlier. We've had a hammer forever, and there is a lot of strength one lock in fire. So there's a whole area that could be either, you know, very live for a second strength, for, th for a strength for a second strength two, yeah. or should be completely ignored. Yep. We sh like to know, like remember to like, we know, yeah, because because we got the Phantom Ganon path to with that was Din's, we know that the Gold Scale or Boomerang has to lock all strengths. Mm -hmm. So and there's not that much that Gold Scale or Boomerang locks either. Yes, that's so it's basically just strength one locks both others, and there's only so many places that third can end up. Yeah. So you really, really need to pay attention where that first strength is, because there's if you don't find it here, I don't think you even like consider fun hunting for it in fire. A hey, fire is a bit too much of a gamble. I think yeah, at some point you just want to go. Strength lock fire is a pretty big commit. It is. It's also just slow. It's it, the yeah. items are deep. It's that's not, what I mean by that. Yeah, it's just not fun. Yeah, like and I, you don't have easy access. Like this, that's the no, other thing. Like no. if you had Bolero on hand, that's one thing. But we're never getting that. No, that's a burning cack. We are not getting that. You would have to go to fire to get that. <laughs> yep. So we're not. Uh, no, like, legitimately, uh, child leak into domain for 
Gold Scale and Jabu would not be a bad play after this, I think. Yeah, I think that... Because you, you probably... You want to figure out what your logic's gone to. Because it... Yes, it could just be for Epona for GTG access, but you don't know that. Yeah, that's that's something you would do in a, in a weekly. It's not something you do in a 1v1. No, I, that's a bit much of a risk. Because we do still have three song checks left. Serenade, Epona's, and the item check are left, I believe. And that's between Prelude, OT, and what is our third? Burning Gun. Sorry, brain running. Or did I just forget to write something down? Also possible. Also possible. Uh, it's Prelude or OT. We have a uh, bullet Prelude OT and. Yeah, it's Prelude ROT, because we have a uh, Burning Cack. It's a... Bolero. We have we, we got our uh, item check. Oh, right. Stone of Agony. That's what that was. Yeah, we Stone of Agony added Colossus, which is just the funniest possibility. <laughs> yeah. Mirror Shell and OGC Fairy would be the comedy option. Yes. It would be the comedy option. That's true. I've, I've already had that. I mean, well, no, I've had that recently, yeah. Yeah. Well, the entirety of GTG is currently something locked. We don't know what because we have we don't actually know where our yeah, logshot is. Yeah, and also is. as a point, um, if it's not strength two out there, you don't get as much density because you, we only have strength one. Yeah. And, and we know the falls down, but fortunately, it's really easy to get a jump up from that yeah. point. And we also don't have toilet. We know that's dead. Yeah. We can't do HBA, which kills off two more checks in the region. Yeah, it's. It's a part, so it's, it's something that's guaranteed, logically indicated, that can be four checks plus a song, which is potentially a horse, which can do three check, one check that you don't want to do out of logic because it's kind of a pain in the butt, and two checks that you can't do out of logic. Yeah. Uh uh. Because uh, GDG access could be long shot, which we don't know where that is. Our hook shot was in path to Phantom Ganon Ice, but Nocturne is confirmed out of ice for that path. Mm -hmm. hook long shot does not technically have to be hook shot locked. We don't know where it is, but it doesn't technically have to be hook shot locked, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it doesn't. Technically, it does not. So, so for all we know, long shot could just be out there for GTG access, but also we just don't know that. And uh, it seems a convoluted thing at this point. Honestly, it's not that convoluted. It's just that uh, if you're trying to figure out, you know, trying to figure out before you get there, there's just too many options that can yeah. go. It's it's just too much what ifs. Yeah. But again, like I said, you have to keep them in mind. You have to entertain them. But there's definitely a waiting on things you should entertain with this. <laughs> yeah. Which I say, um. Drew is only like two, a po and a half behind right now, so yeah. we are churning through Forest. Showing off why they are both excellent runners. Again, like some of the little flourishes I've been seeing out of Drew are like they are negligible time saves, but you know, a couple negligible time saves is like gonna help chew through the lead that Sponge got by through efficiency. Exactly. And I don't, like, from talking with Sponge, he's like, it's funny to say that Sponge is a safe runner, but he tends to just go for strats that work. And, you know, <laughs> I, that's a good strategy, but if you're gonna, willing to be a little riskier to, like, save, shave some time, that may be where you can cut your corners. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the thing that, with Sponge, it, like, you know, always impresses me is the consistency. Absolutely. And that's it. why Sponge has been a top finisher in many of our main tournament seasons. He's never won, but he's come very close in multiple times. Yeah, but he's... Again, the consistency is definitely there, and that's Consistent something where I... Consistent over the years, yeah. Yeah, and make sure that what you're doing works. Yep. That you know what you're doing, you know your plan, you know your movement, and you don't have to think about it past that. Yep. And, again, talking with Drew, Drew yesterday in the interview, uh, he does these flourishes without thinking about it, so that's still pretty efficient for him. That's so just part that's... of his ingrained muscle memory at this point. Exactly. Versus having to actively think about showing off or whichever. Yeah, if you if you have to think about it, it's not worth doing as far as execution goes. No, especially in a race against a runner as skilled as this. Yeah, in you know, like I said, you're you're going to be extra nervous here. I think both. That was uh, when I was playing Drew yesterday. The table started shaking because he was shaking his leg. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> 
Yeah, because there is a lot of nerves going on. While both are guaranteed to move on, a, a buy-in brackets is very valuable. Yes. You more want time to more time to prepare, more time to sleep in. Sleep if you in. So yeah. You are guaranteed money round that by because yeah. it is top eight that are parts of the pri that prize pool. Uh, yeah. A buy guarantees you five percent of that, uh, which is not uh, it's like a hundred dollars or something yeah. about there. It's not insignificant. Yeah, buy dinner for buy dinner for your, nice dinner for yourself at that point. That's a uh, good money. But still the. Uh, it's also just we play this because we like it and we like doing well we like you know doing the best of our ability and being able to show off things to the best of our ability is part of the fun yep uh talk about saying strength one and spirit map chest and the key in some block room but that's not behind our i think that's technically possible but fire arrows are available mm. and yeah Fire arrows are available reminds the issue there. Is fire arrows are available for spirit key logic. Yeah. Yeah, so we have the fire arrows available, but nothing on PG, so that was a snore. Yep. Well as far as we can tell, this is actually it's pretty deep run to get uh get into forest because of all of the nonsense around our strengths. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's the only thing I can call that is nonsense. Um, Minuet for Sponge. Let's see where he goes next. Yeah, Minuet is, uh, that's telegraphing a Furore's Wind usage, I think. Back to Shadow Temple. Clear clear Shadow, make sure it's clear. Because uh, that's actually, I like that actually, because I said, you know, you don't think about where the strength is until you're done with, with uh, Forest because you're hoping for a strength three there. Logical strength three to asterisk. Yeah, but again, like having seen these people play live, uh, they are just much. They are just very comfortable with pressure. Like they are, they're not happy with it, but they're they are playing very high level through all this pressure. Absolutely. And that's part of what makes a good runner, too. Yeah. Sponge may be standing in this exact spot on the boat to keep the second stealth folks from spawning in, which is a weird thing you can do, and it's kind of cool. I'm gonna just go report a quick thing. That was rude. Sounds good. Um, and yeah, in the meantime, we'll be starting to see some new checks out of Sponge here in the back of Shadow. Which again, may I say, you only get a go mode shadow when it's not useful, and you're gonna have to come back and check at the stuff anyway. It would also help if I could spell. Eh, overrated. Um, what do we have? I don't see anything immediately. Uh, this is one place I do not really, you know, try and peek. Okay, nothing in that room. One more check in shadow, and then it's bongo. And if you're coming back here, you do bongo. Bongo takes very little time, and coming back to Shadow takes and committing your Force Wind takes more time than that. <laughs> yeah, gosh, these two are on the exact same wavelength. They do, um, which makes sense. Uh, Cena's been fairly straightforward as to what they want us to do, and um, they've been following it so far. Uh, okay, yeah, that is now reported. Okay, um, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Sponge, there's a wall there. Very, very good. The best of us forget how to go through an individual maze occasionally. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> alright, alright, that's the right door. Very good. <laughs> Real confident looking shield turn into that 
void out, and you save the cutscene, which is a significant time save. So yes, you throw yourself into the void. Make sure you've gone through that door first, otherwise you're going back to the front of the boat. Yep. Um... Sorry, just updating a couple things. We have had tournament races going on since 10 a.m. this morning. So got a result from a, one of those. Mm -hmm. You can go read that. You feel like it, but yeah. yeah. We won't spoil too much on the race stream because they do have other things happening, such as Bongo. But uh, there are plenty of stuff going on. Do you have a favorite 150 BPM Bongo, bongo song? No. <laughs> Eh. My stra my my execution's too terrible for it. <laughs> yeah, no, the uh, the quick kill that Sponge just did is possible at pretty much any damage value because as long as you s you are going at a exactly 150 beats per minute, you can actually you can stun lock Bongo. And uh, the the number of songs that have really comedy potential songs that have 150 beats per minute. I mean, we're coming up on it being seasonal for all I want for Christmas is you. Yeah, Drew is going for the peak there. Seeing nothing. Really narrowed this, uh. That getting lost in the invisible maze was more of a time loss than anticipated. It's really actually, it actually did make a difference in, uh. Drew catching up here. Yeah. Alright, uh, looks like the back of Shadow was a snooze while I was doing Edwin things. Yeah, nothing all that interesting in the back of Shadow, but it was definitely worth going for because it's. An extremely live area for something for Mirror Shield, which you know you're going to be getting a very weird path to. Sponge playing Prelude Minuet again, thinking about it for a second, and decides it is going to be Minuet. I wonder where he's going now. There are two real sensible options here. It's. Uh, actually, there's a few sensible options. You can go into Fire, which, again, not a great option, but it's an option. You can go and you can go clean up King Zora because that's another thing that that you know, Rudo's letter could indicate. And I don't think we have a domain foolish because they all both did domain. It found foolish, yes. Um, and you can just hike down the lake, go do lab, go do lab dive. I think we're gonna see one of the these. Issue is I would do that as child though. I would because we know Adult Lake is a Goron to nuke. We don't need any junk. We yeah. can't do shoot the sun because we don't have long shot. And uh, yeah, you're not going to fool it. You're not going to light medallion water tumble for several reasons. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Please do not do your light medallion shit the dungeon. Um, that cost a runner a race previously in groups. And yeah. Well, would not recommend. Oh, ow. The flare is hover lock, but more importantly, it's strength lock. Yeah, the strength lock is the interesting part here, because you know that a strength will lead to, you know, into spirit, and into... So there's a strength out there, and we are assuming that because you did all of your single strength locked region in... Um, all your single strength locked region you're kind of assuming that you're looking at that strength lot that strength being you know you could have strength two out there somewhere or a second strength two out there somewhere in a single strength lock region like fire temple okay so this is going to be fire for sponge having just bought the goron two next so we're gonna see how this goes i will be curious to see what drew does because this is not because i do not necessarily know that drew is gonna do go do this, this is a interesting call i would say it's a it's a valid call. It's definitely one where you're just, I don't want to deal with the boomerang and scale nonsense right now. I want to just try and, you know, just snipe off this logic chain and go into this and just get my second strength in fire, my second strength option in fire. Uh, why were they back in shadow? Because, uh, thanks for the other deck of cast to Twin Rova game. Thanks. Um, because, um, because we hovers don't... Hovers were path to Twin Rova. They already had Furors in there, and the Mirror Shield could have been in the back or something. Yeah, there's no reason that you or couldn't have three, a, couldn't. another strength, a second strength, or... Well, no, you couldn't be strength three unless it was an outside of Gans Castle. Um, yeah, there's no reason there couldn't be another thing in those four item checks. They knew they were all item checks remaining yeah. because they had the all the keys. keys. Um, there's no reason that those four checks would be there, and it was the best time to do it. Um... You want you don't have a great idea of where to go next that isn't you know go child immediately, um, 
or you can go do Tech Tech Grotto, which I think is what Drew is opting for. Looks like it could be GTG access behind Prelude, but we just don't know. We're still we we're still missing information on that. Yeah. It's like, do you do you take that 50-50 is what that is for opponents on Prelude, mm -hmm. or do you or it could just be a strength on Lab Dive or on in, in Jabu because we don't know. Yeah, we don't. Or in Tech Grotto, which is what we're seeing out of yeah. Drew here. So. so we just plain do not have enough information. Yeah, I and think it's like Drew how much, is what do going you take closer to the logic here. I think those are. What is that? Iron boots. Those don't do anything, Drew. Uh, I'm actually a little confused why he's picking these up. You, you don't even get any movement advantage. Like I had hover boots here <laughs> the other day, and I picked them up because you get a couple of movement uh, movement advantages about out of it. So the dive down gives you time to think about it for a second. But yeah, iron boots don't do anything for you in this seed. Like I think literally everything iron boots locked is hinted dead. She teach the toilet's dead and Walter's the light med. Yeah. And the fountain is dead. Yeah. Uh, that does actually nothing for us. Uh, where's Drew backwalking to now? Drew is going towards Southfield Lake. Okay. Honestly, I like the chaining Southfield here. You know you're not getting opponents anytime soon. Um, and maybe you want to grab the free Goron tunic as long as you're walking down here, you know? Actually, if it was on top of the lab, I would absolutely do the free Goron Tunic if I was going for the lab dive. It's more of a question with the uh, adult fishing. Yeah. So I believe our bits. What's the seat's problem, Tobias? Um, our logical strength one is someplace really, really goofy. Is what it is. Yeah, it's our logical strength one is somewhere in the lab dive Jabu region of the world. Take a look at the path command. This will tell you a thing or five. <laughs> yeah, it's five actually. Uh, literally, in this case, but yeah, just that. <laughs> One thing I'll say is just a little disorienting playing on the SG live setup where we have our seeds hand rolled by someone else and handed to us. Uh -huh. um, we don't have our colors. No. Um, it just felt so weird playing without a pur without purple tunics. Yeah, it just there's enough going on without trying to add cosmetics to the Oh absolutely. Mix. I know for Wind Waker they still do it because a lot of people like get so used to their models they use them for setups and it really does matter. But, but no tea colors nice don't matter. It just They're just cool. Yeah, it's just nice. I did miss I, it is just very it was just very disorienting because I play with the same Navi color for everything. So I don't have any color changes. Yeah. It's just weird seeing extra color changes on screen. Yeah. I'm th I mean, I'm thinking Strike 1 and GTG. I mean, it's very like it's very possible it is GTG, but we just don't know for yeah, sure. Yeah, the safest like, play would be to follow you your commit? logic. Like, how much do you commit to hope... How, how much do you hope that you read the 50... That you take the 50-50 on opponents at being on Prelude versus going and checking? Yeah, the question is, do you think or, it's you know, Epona, or do you think it's all the way here on foot to go check that? I mean, I don't hate this one. No. I, don't, I don't hate it. Like, fire is very risky here, actually. It is, because this is our only strength is logical strength too, and there's nothing pointing us here. Also, Sponge, that was really slick. Yep. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's a hard oh, it's call boomerang. for... It's boomerang. It's boomerang. That is a gold scale confirmed in the dead. Because Tech Tech Rider was iron boots of utter uselessness. And uh, gold scale. And uh, that was useless. So that's a boomerang path behind Inspire. Yeah, I'm because very interested in seeing what Unspun decide Kak right now. But hinted double... For those who missed it, Kak has hinted... We've gotten three trips... We've gotten three trip Phantom Ganon hats uh, today. Pass it. Double cack to PG and ice to PG. Wait, that's a that's a Goron tunic? Oh, it might have been got the order backwards. No, no, there, it was. It just looked like a Zora tunic. I don't. Know, might be the lighting or something. Yeah, okay. that's weird. Um, yeah. So our paths. We have three paths to PG. Two and two double cack to PG and ice to Phantom Ganon. Uh, the only two items we got out of cack were Din's fire and Rudo's letter. Yep. Rudo's letter, of course, obviously, being path to PG to go do Ice Cavern path to PG, yep. which got us our first hook shot. We don't know where Longshot is in Nocturne to go with that Din's Fire. 
to get Boomerang to oh, do Jabu. Yeah, that makes this also makes a little more sense. So, like Hover's Lock and Fire is also an option. But as far as Iron Boots being off the table, does anyone have my Iron Boots or DLC emote in chat? Because they really are today. <laughs> they really are. Literally, water is water is, is the light medallion. We 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 know that Zora's fountain is foolish and, and toilet, toilet is dead. So there's no reason. The only possible use for the Iron Boots would be if you messed up your setup in the Shadow Wind Wall, Wind Wind Tunnel. But they're both past that already, so yeah. they haven't. Because they had to do Shadow Temple to get their strength. Their strength upgrade was past the, the Wind Tunnel. Yep. And this is going to be Jabu for uh, Drew. So finally, Drew diverged into my runners. Uh, yeah, Drew knows for sure that that boomerang does something important. Yeah. The Hover's Lock is also completely irrelevant because we know Hover's are path to Twin Rova. Because that boomerang was Hover's Locked in Shadow, and that lock strength won because that's where the Phantom Gang Okay, but went. this is a thing that I'm going to just... I'm going to die on this hill here. Um, there is... When you have multiple Hover's Lock locations, it actually is more likely for something to be there, not like... Appreciably more likely that you should ignore other options. Like, I like what Drew is doing better because this is a better option here. But if you just pick, you know, a thousand random seeds, it is more likely for something to be done for, for Hover's Lock two things if they're directly hinted. I don't know. I, I don't that is absolutely true because of Bayesian statistics and probability. I could probably write a mathematical proof of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, um, is it likely to, to matter in any particular seed? No. <laughs> like, hovers our path, it doesn't matter what path for, and we've seen the path specifically. Yes, it doesn't matter what path for, but... Okay, true. If it's not a bad idea to go looking behind this potentially hovers lock, it's not strength the worst locked area... Place to go, it's just not what I would have... It's not the most obvious place. No, I definitely think that I would be taking... Oh, and doing spirit. That's an interesting thought. Hey, I mean, you do probably eventually want to check it. You do need to do here. it. I'm just wondering how he intends to get to Jabu. I don't know. Um, I, for many uh, to scale for Lost Woods is probably the fastest. Yeah, he was just already there, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't know. I... Which of our... Drew was the one who got the slingshot. Drew has the slingshot, so he knows that... He has it on his C button right now, actually. Yeah, so yeah. That, he so knows he knows it's not, it's not for this. Yeah. Child Spawn is at Colossus, funnily enough. <laughs> you know, because... <laughs> Having an early Requiem wasn't good enough. Uh, yeah. Ouch. Oh, hey, big chest for Sponge, and that is a funny spot for another slingshot. <laughs> yep, yep. I was about to say, don't tell me that this nonsense paid out. <laughs> it would have been big for Sponge, but no. Oh, yeah, just... like, I'll just be I'll just be salty because mine was in lo my fire was in logic when I did it. <laughs> <laughs> and his is not. <laughs> that chest wasn't hover locked anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of... hover locked is just a point. Yeah, really. I think this is fishing for a strength three. This is fishing for logical strength three slash Panera Shield someplace absolutely ridiculous that Drew is not going anytime fast. <laughs> yeah, and in the meantime, Drew is going required places like Child's... Like, well, Child's Fear isn't necessarily required, but there's a big chest there. Yeah, that could be a Mirror Shield. That should be strength one, but that, should be, that could be Mirror Shield. Yeah. If that's Mirror Shield, that would be fascinating. Nope. Another bow. Last, last or last bow. Fantastic. Really interesting. No keys on child side, by the way. You're really going back already? I would have I done think Jabu in this segment. Is Drew going to be pulling, going, going to work for a rush GTG with, with, uh, on a whim, uh, not on a whim, but on a instinct? On taking that 50 50 of the opponents. I mean, Australia. it's not the worst play, absolutely. No, I could, I could see it. I would go GTG over fire, at least, I honestly. Yeah, I think I would take GTG over fire if I, if you, if you, know, Hold a bow to my head, or whatever. <laughs> as much as I hate Jabu, I probably would have ended up in Jabu. Because I, I think I. The I think you want. You're so hard missing strength too. You want to take that path one way or another, whether that's go prelude or 
or when it's Go Job or Go GTG, assuming it's Job before GTG access. Yeah, player is kind of just an odd one out. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, and this is GTG for Smash. Drew is ta has a hammer out in his adult walking in, F in menu in FSM, FSM, SFM. That is interesting to say the least. That is a choice. Yes, um, I'm a little curious by this, but this is a choice. Yeah, like they both just are like yeah, fire. I mean, it has options there. It's just not really indicated by anything other than it's strength one locked. Uh. Yeah, strength one locked. It's there. Uh, I don't know. I, as far as a get as a, a stab at this might be my logic. I think GTG has more going for it. I think so. Also, yeah, also hammer for GV hammer rocks. Yeah, but hammer's not indicated by anything specific. Yeah, but you can clean it up while you're here. Yeah, you can, absolutely. <laughs> like, you are going to do hammer rocks, you're going to clear fortress roof, and you're going to go GTG. Yeah, I think GTG is probably the most indicated thing we have here. Yeah, if you want to follow that collection of PG paths, you either go job or GTG. Yeah. I do think it's interesting that both of them like decided fire or wait. If fire, if they had Bolero, I could see otherwise. Like, cause like, oh, this is really fast to get to, and it's a good option. This is a great shot in the dark. But I think that if you're gonna be making wild guesses, like, shouldn't you at least be making wild guesses that are a little closer to the logic filled paths? Yeah. yeah. Like, and this is just like for Sponge. Like, this is even makes more sense for Sponge because once he's done with GTG, he can jump down to Lake and do Lab Dive. Yeah. And like, for there's a very real chance Mirror Shield's just sitting in Spirit, honestly. Oh yeah, at this point. yeah, it can. Uh, it likes to be there. And it's not a lot of. We've seen a lot of this game. <laughs> we are almost two hours in. We've seen most of the game. There's not. There are only so many places this Mirror Shield can be. <laughs> yeah. And we are running rather low on them. You're right. We've seen most of our dungeons by now. Well, we know it's not behind Iron Boots, and that's a good day. <laughs> I will be asking both runners why they decided to go fire couple, because I'm really curious on their Yeah, reasoning. I want to know that, like, I can see the reasoning, because this is a lot of... This is just a potential thing you could be going around with, like... There's so much you could potentially avoid by doing, if there was just a strength three in fire. But also, fire is not fast. It's not fast, and there's no guarantee strength three is here. Yeah. Like, strength three could just very well be sitting in light. Isn't that light trial? Like, in sh I don't know, spirit trial or something. Yeah, they'll see a spirit trial. It doesn't It doesn't matter. Like, it just. But yeah, I, do, I just think it's interesting that this is where they both decide, decide to, go. to go. Yeah. Again, we can also tell them to. Uh, that telepathy is a. Uh, if they had about telepathy, they should use it for co op instead. Because it'd be way more efficient for co-op than trying to use your voice. Yep. Alright, so GTG for Sponge. Let's see what's here. And he's setting for wars? Is this entirely to get a lab dive and then he's gonna come back up when he's done? I don't know. Sure? He's gonna check lobby at least. Yeah, right you, you check lobby. You're here. Uh, her in the chest. The key. Okay. Yeah, they have some time, so it can be moderately efficient. Thinking about warping back down when he's done? Maybe. Maybe, maybe just in case Mirror Shield's here in the Strike 2 checks? Maybe. Although I'm hoping good. Strike 2 is here, so I don't well, know. Well, if, if you were going for the Strike 2 checks, you would drop your uh, FW up at the top. So you can go straight yeah, to them. To, I'm not sure what that for is this for. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out when he uses it. Honestly, it'd be very sad if it's just a freaking Jabu. It'll be in Jabu Compass Trust, and they'll both feel very silly when they finally get there, because Jabu Compass Trust is like the last check that doesn't absolutely suck time out of your, your run.
So we'll polish it up again. There is a quick kill and it's pretty consistent. Um, you know, just 64 out of 81 times. It looks like it was consistent for Drew to die. Very good. All right. Okay, Discord caught up. Nothing is going to blow is blowing up on my face. Good. Good. Yeah, and Alfalfa feel making a good point with the uh, FW faster than save war from VC. That's a good point. Uh, Sponge is playing on Virtual Console. Both of our runners are playing Virtual Console. Uh, Sponge even brought a CRT with him, um, although that's he's, he's not playing on it right now. Um, but I'm an emulator player, so I definitely do not think about that immediately. Uh -huh. Did you catch what invisible seal the hidden ceiling was? Uh, I did not. I oh, hey. It was small, but I'm not sure what it is. We hey, got something behind this hammer here. It's not like I think the hammer is... I'm superstitious about the fact that, oh, the hammer has to have something because I found it early, but it is more likely. Yeah. Okay, maybe I am a little superstitious sometimes. Who knows? Yeah. We are all just pigeons in the Skinner box of OOT. Yep. There, and this big chest is... Double magic! Thanks! Probably magic, it's magic locked, locked. Not that we care. <laughs> I mean... I think it has to be magic locked at this point. Actually, yes, because, uh, well... Yeah, yeah, you can't get either OT or Jabu without going into shadow. And long shots a wall, yeah. Yep, yep. I'm not, I'm not just, I'm not holding my breath for a long shot anytime soon, honestly. No, neither am I. It's probably Ganon's. <laughs> and it just so happened that the game did not pick hookshot for our, Well, it could have picked hookshot, or it, technically the ice could have been either hookshot or nocturne. By yeah, we're not sure. Uh, there's the mirror shield in GTG. All right, so that was... And what do we got? What do we got? Donkeys. Oh, uh, mirror shield has not been fine, so that's good. So this was not a plus for sponge, no matter what. Yeah. That's good. That's so that the weirdest thing we got to look for. Yep, yeah, that's good. Um, doesn't solve our strength one mission. Logical strength one issue. <laughs> it doesn't, but this does actually put us a lot closer to our solution to this seed because... You got the mirror shield, which is the one weird thing we got. And everything we're looking at right now is still dealing with where is strength one. Yeah. The the thing we're missing is leading to strength one. Yep. So Sponge has got a pretty again, Sponge has got a pretty good thing going with his current logical setup. He does. And I think if Drew is going to telegraph the whole going to DTG thing, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of thought he was going to GTG for a moment. I don't know why I was convinced of that. It looks very much like GTG access, Alex. The issue, though, is that mirror shield does not solve our PG path headache. Yeah, it's the fact that it, we are dealing with Phantom Path of Phantom Ganon is the is the what the boomerang. So that does, as far as we know at this point, given everything we know, that is for our first strength, which. And, our sec and the strength we have is strength locked. Yep, and Mirror Shield does not help that because everything Mirror Shield locked is strength 2 locked. Mirror Shield is basically just... Oh, it's like three checks in the whole game. If Mirror Shield is your path and it's not for just because something behind your reward is for spirit, that's a very weird day. Uh, I remember we had that actually on uh, one of our online group matches, the one we restreamed uh, between Majarkin and Angles, I think it was. We had Mirror Shield for first bow at the top of Spirit Temple, I oh. think it was. <laughs> okay. I mean, it can happen. Just It was just a... That was a, that was a, another case of what the heck's the logic giving us? Because this is really weird. That, yeah, that is weird. I think so... I think Force was a stone and spirit was a medallion, and somehow we got no spirit paths, not even for a mirror shield. But you had a mirror shield on your path to forest? So which meant that mirror shield had to be on the path to a stone, which turned out to be because the first bow was in, like, four armors chest for top of spirit, one of the two. Yeah. And it's like, that's really... Unlikely? Incredibly unlikely. I'm but sure in Sponge's happened. case here, he's like, I really hope this is my strength, because then I'm done. Uh, I'm sorry, Sponge, it's, it's not... Big Foes is not hinted, um, and sadly, this is not it either. But yeah, like, it ha Jabu might be for also for, be for GTG access, but we have to 
No, it's not just for GTD access, considering we've seen it, seen everything non-strength two lock cleared. It could have been it, like it is very much likely that GTD access was there, because uh, long shots a wall. But also, we're running out of things to do, and that boomerang still has to be back. <laughs> yeah, th that boomerang is equivalent to a strength upgrade. Basically, do both of our runners just forget that they saw the beam hit? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Uh, where was it again? Uh, KF Storms and DMC Ground. Yeah, they've both seen both copies. They both they seen just it. forgot it. Yeah. Which, which happens. Been there, done that. Especially because with in-person, one of the things is that tracking gets a little funny. Mm -hmm. Like, Sponge has his laptop on the side, and I think Drew's using, using a piece of paper. <laughs> yes, Drew's literally using a piece of paper. He, also, they have, like, these nice uh, tablecloths on there, so you don't get the best writing surface. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a little... Notebook here that I've been you know, writing down thoughts in as I've been writing. You know, and that's why I had for my tracking, and even that didn't quite have good enough of resistance. Yeah. Yes, the sponge will now do south field area. We know this was a snooze for, from Drew's side, so we're Drew getting a bit of time back, but is about a GTG behind. Yeah, and the decision to go fire here for both these runners is just. And that's just commitment. It's just it, commitment. It is a commitment for a sequence break with no obvious indications. Yeah. Which unfortunately just did not pay off for either runner. Mm -hmm. It could have. It just didn't. And yeah, that's it, we're not in that seed. Nope. And that's Again, all these things would have worked in a seed. Just not this one. Nope. Basically, whenever we're doing all of our weird theory crafting, it's like we're just trying to figure out the universe of possible seeds that line up with what we know. And as we go on, we know more and more and just narrow down that that, that, that pool. Yeah, and at this point, we know Boomerang is path. Uh, because Din's fight, to, for to rehash, uh, Kakariko was double path to Phantom Ganon. Ice Cavern was also path to Phantom Ganon. We know one of our items in Kak was Rudo's letter for Ice Cavern for our first hookshot in for Nocturne to go use at Din's fire to get a boomerang. Mm -hmm. We then proceeded to get strength locked out because there's a key on top, the top of the crusher room. And we found a key, and there was a strength behind that key before the boat. Yes. That is logical strength too, and the only strength they currently have in their inventories. They're currently trying and failing to find their strength one. Logical strength one. Um, yeah. And I think, honestly, the answer is keep it simple. Uh, go chase the thing at this just point. Just take, just do a boomerang. Let's go for the boomerang. Drew could have done that when he was child earlier. Yeah, that was the thing. It's like I, it's very odd that he didn't do that when he was already child like because I, w I fully expected him to do a child stepping in for child spirit and child boo because then you have one less when for your age change. Yeah, like just make that commitment if you're going to go child anyway. Mm -hmm. Frogs one that was checked a very very long time ago. Frogs two is dead. You know, we're seeing Sponge as he's going through field try to spawn a big Poe out of logic. See if uh, what we're looking for is a Epona to be pose. So he is thinking about Epona. He's very much thinking about the Epona's logic. You can tell that both from the uh, go to trip to GTG and the attempt to grab a pig boat, po out of logic. Yeah, taking a real look at this. You're getting the DLC? <laughs> really? Really? Both of you? <laughs> okay, guys. The one time you one time you were told directly by the hints that those are completely useless and you still get them? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it is hard to keep track of hints, especially in person here. Yeah. And uh, just, you don't want to actually get yourself screwed over. Absolutely. No, I'm. There are scenes where you leave those behind because you think it's junk, and then 30 minutes later go. Right. Um, wait. Yeah. Yes, there's exactly two things the Iron Boots do. Three. There's three things the Iron Boots do exclusively Water Temple, which is the Light Medallion. GTG Toilet, which is de head to dead directly, <laughs> and Icy Waters, which is full in Foolish Fountain. So we're not doing any of these yeah. things. Yeah, I guess they probably... Yeah, we're... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it is a... <laughs> okay, Sponge is going back south? That's an interesting... What what would you do back south, though? I'm not sure why he's doing a humongous loop around Hyrule Field. Um, did he not have no? Did he not have money for this scrub? I'm confused. Did he not have money? No, you would get money for fishing. No, what are you, what are you doing, sir? Are you checking shoot the sun? I would fly 
Like, did you for, did you think better of your life decisions <laughs> and check inside your check suit the sun? I'm not sure why you'd go all the way back do an entire loop from down south to north to south again on foot just for shoot the sun without a long shot. Um, I mean. That would be the reason you would do it, though, right? It is. He's playing what Sun the? Song. I'm just no, he's not playing Sun Song. He's playing Sponge. Sir, maybe he's just drawing a picture with his back walking. Maybe that's what he was doing. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Um, okay. Yeah, maybe he just tried to draw a picture and send us a secret message. <laughs> and he's just shaking his head. I think he's like, maybe he forgot Water's a Light Man. Yeah. That, would probably, that might explain it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure why else. He would just go all the way around Hyrule Field there. Yeah, this is this is a look of what am I doing with my life? <laughs> this is a look of I am going to find. I, again, I'm going to say I'm going to find this in the compass chest in Jabu, and I could have had this like forty minutes, thirty ago. minutes ago. Because yeah. <laughs> you've been spending the past thirty minutes doing that job. <laughs> yeah, like the the mirror shield's a good get. The rest of it's not been helpful. <laughs> yeah. Doing a loop around our field is not helpful. No, that's. Again, like I don't mind doing, you know, picking, you know, picking up Tai Grotto because that's one of the things that that scale yeah. could do. I and I like getting the getting the field clear while you're there because otherwise you'll never do it ever. Yeah. <laughs> like you, know how many times you, I've won races because of uh, someone just like never getting to, to South Field Grotto. Yeah. Yeah. Like you just don't do that. But yeah. Again. Sometimes stuff happens, though. Again, not going to criticize anybody for having a brain fart about anything. That's my, that's my cat. That is just my uh, calling card. It does happen to everyone. No one's perfect. Nope. All right, we're going to see Child Spirit first, which is fine. Just in case there's keys here. He should know his strength one can't be here, but he, there could be a key here. Ah, uh, Drew re re remembering that he doesn't, that this is in fact foolish. Yep. I not expect you could get from this big chest. I don't, I don't know. I think you just do it because you don't want to just miss something. Mm -hmm. Or because you want to try and make sure that you're not misunderstanding logic and it's faster just to do that than True. just speculate. Yeah, this has to be Jabu. If other, he's not, oh, no, it doesn't have to be Jabu. It can also be uh, Goron City. But this is going to end in Jabu in some way. I mean, there's very little left. We've seen our dungeons. Yeah, there's... We've seen our dungeons. We've seen most of our. We've seen our accessible overall checks that aren't foolish, mm -hmm. and we're running out of stuff. Just period, logical or way of path or otherwise. So, Star, the real question here is then: Is it in Jabu or is it on G Is it on uh, HBA? HBA for the laughs. The, for the runner's sake, I hope it's Jabu because this is getting a little ridiculous. Yeah. But again, like if you just follow your logic directly, um, instead of trying have. to get cute, you can could have had this a long time ago. And then just bail out the GTG as soon as you get that mirror shield. Be yeah, and this, this can't be feel good for either runner because you know, they're trying to go out out of logic and get an advantage and not get lose time to their to their opponent. And now they're just going. And the entire time, I could have just done the obvious thing and not. And they probably did it, and they're about to stand up. Yeah, they're not. They're not guys. You're fine. <laughs> They're, yeah, you're, you're both are, your opponents doing the same thing. You're both you're both psyching yourself out, and it's it's how this thing goes sometimes. That said, since Drew is now following Sponge, Sponge is definitely in a lead. Though it's been hard to say for the past age, so I'd put Sponge in the lead now. No, Sponge has had a good five minutes ahead of Drew. Like he's just been Drew's. The problem is that Drew's been tailing Sponge just the entire time and not in varying ways. Yeah, and if not he just. He uh, could have pulled ahead at when they were diverging, but they're converging again, and now yeah. it's just. Thank you, Drew. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Sponge does not look happy. Again, he does not know that both of them have been doing the same thing the entire time. Yeah. Did we see Big Pose? No. no. Uh, Sponge did not get the 400% chance on any of the pose he tracked. He tracked several of the pose in the field. None of them swallowed. Yeah. Uh, Segway, so anyway, they absolutely understand their strength to logic. Um, 
the, that one was one of the slightly easier logical things to do. And the, the whole reason they were doing those things was to try and, you know, de you know dead eye the strength two logic because they didn't want to go do Jabu. Um, because Jabu isn't technically required and Jabu kind of sucks because they don't have an easy way to get there. No, it had to um, be many at two scale to Lost Woods to get here. Which yeah, it's not like, easy. Um, plus the age change, but it's we've seen everything else in the game. This is about all yeah. that's left for Sponge. So, so they're just they were just trying to go around the logic, which uh, from my at my attempts at doing it, um, sometimes it works and you feel amazing. And a lot of times, like you just this. really have to accept that the logic is getting its way today. Yep, yeah, you're not winning against the logic today in this scene. You're doing job. Uh, sponges but I everything else. But I completely understand it, though. Same. Like, these, both these runners are, you know, they are, they both, uh, they're, they're strong competitors, they respect it, and they think, they, you know, these two strong competitors think they need an edge against their opponent, and they thought that going around would be a good way to get an edge. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kale, absolutely going GTG was not a bad play, and I think they both could have expected it. They both, though, might be regretting their play to fire. <laughs> yeah, fire is the one I think they're probably not feeling great about. Like, they did, they, none of them are going to probably have to be surprised they were going to do GTG before Jabu. It is something we're discussing. It certainly would, isn't a terrible option, especially given that, you know, Opotasong is probably behind Jabu. Uh, so, uh, hey, Drew just spotted his mirror shield. Taking a that, really good oh, look. Oh gosh, that looks so weird from here. He's gonna go back please for get right. it. Please, please don't assume well, that's a red. He has a, well, the thing is, he has um, another big chest back there to pick up. It's just bomb shoes, but he has to go get that. Yeah, he'll see that eventually. So he'll be fine, even if he might think that's a red rupee, because that looks a little yeah. weird from that angle. It doesn't even look like a red rupee. It looks like a box. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, the thing about it being not shiny. Fire is because they didn't want to age change, but I would have gone GTG over fire at least. Yeah, like I think GTG would have been a, was a better call out of logic. Yeah, because you still had to hike your butt over. You, didn't, you weren't even close to fire. You had no way to get to fire. You had to do some nonsense to get to fire to get in the first place. Yeah. So they, I think that's one they probably both feel bad about. Is they both yeah. spend like good amount of time in fire and found approximately nothing in there. Yeah. Uh, I think there was, what, a slingshot, and that was it? <laughs> yeah, and there was a slingshot all the way on the compass chest. And that was the only thing remotely interesting in there. <laughs> Another, uh, Another Super Nest Ray Race being finished. That was a best of three, I believe. That was their game three, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, very close one, it looks yeah. like. Yeah. That's the final boss on the... Yep, yep, I... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh. Drew is gonna skip. Oh no, Drew! Please go look at what that weird thing is. Good. Okay, good, good, good. good. Yeah. That Bless. Was, okay, good. Yeah. I was worried there for a second. Same here. All right, so Sponge is in Jabu, and see, see how long it took you to go to Jabu? Not that long. Um, nothing there. Now let's see if my call of Compass Chest is right. I think Compass Chest would be the maximum feels bad moment. Yeah. But if it's not compass chest, you gotta go to Baronade. You do? You came all the way here, you've done everything well, else in the game. Yeah, it's the only thing that's a uh, boomerang locked. Uh, not compass chest. So you do have to do go to Baronade. And it's either that Hem. or HBA at this you. point. Or Big Pose. Or Big Pose. Which is, if that's Big Pose, I'm just gonna feel bad about his lock on the, in Hyrule Field earlier. Oh yeah. Yeah, unfortunately Jabu is not the most interesting of locations. It really isn't. It's it's also fairly linear and it's got even less checks than forest. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta go to Baronade. For one reason or another, you need to beat up Baronade. Yep. Not entirely sure why, but we need to. <laughs> well, well, it's getting pretty clear why, really. Yes. I well, mean, there's no. Well, no, no, it's a, uh, it's one or the other. It's either Baronade has an item or it's a Pona. And it's got, to, it's either, it's almost got to be strength one because there's almost nothing that can lead that's left at Lock's checks. Yeah. 
I guess long shot for shoot the sun's the only other thing they could possibly get. That's about it. They've seen everything else that could yeah, be checked. Uh, uh, it would have been funny though if it was um it would have been pretty funny if it was uh long long shot. Mm hmm Because if it was long shot and baronade and this is unfortunately not possible with our logical hints, but it would be funny if it was long shot and baronade and uh Epona on prelude. So it was just like nah, you just gotta get to GTG, unfortunately. Not the case today. Yeah. So Sponge will keep chewing through. And Jabu for again. Drew, which I assume we'll probably see Sponge on Barry by the time Drew gets into Jabu. I'd imagine so. It's about a, almost about a full Jabu apart. Yeah. And Drew's also this is a last location Jabu for both runners. They've done everything. Yep. With the appropriate amount of shield flicking for last location Jabu. Yep. Which I don't fault I Drew for. It's been. You don't feel good after two no, hours and particularly minutes. when it's directly hinted, and you're just thinking, "Why did I try and go around this again? Why did I do this 30 minutes, 40 minutes ago?" Yeah. Like I can get it, but it does feel bad. He was probably thinking about it when he did Requiem, and just then is like, "No, I need to go. This, I need to try and get an edge here. I'm feel behind because who wouldn't? Yeah, against either of these runners." I love that slide along the spikes. It's completely pointless. But it's just fun to do. Yeah, it just it doesn't do it does literally nothing except entertain you and frankly, while you're waiting for Big Octo to be done doing his thing, you might as well do something. Yep. It does not cost you time, it's just kill time for a minute. Mm-hmm. You're just waiting for Big Octo to die. Uh where's Drew going? Um, where is Drew going? Um, does he need... Did he lose his shield? That might be why, He yeah. lost his shield. Okay, that's actually a good thought from him. Yeah, that's, that's heads up. Because Jabu, actually, you don't, you don't hard need a shield in Jabu like you do for Deku. But it does improve a lot of things there. Crouch stabs do help. Although, if he was already there... Oh, he's also kind of short on sticks, but mm, you don't need... No, you, can get, you only need four sticks. You also have the K-Sword. Yeah. I mean, think about the K-Sword. Uh, the range on the K-Sword is significantly shorter. So Big Octo, Quick Kill, and Baronade are both you know, possible to easier with the sticks. So you probably want four. The the Stinger's Room in Bind Boomerang. Yeah, they can use the K-Sword for that. Easy. Yeah. So I'm just going to be out of job before Drew gets in with that shop stop. Yeah, but he did need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Dies a <of> big octo. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Artificial Red. <laughs> Pretty good Baron Knight fight here for Sponge so far. Yeah, easy as you please. In case I wonder why Sponge rolled into Baron there, that is to make Baron pop back out faster. Yep, that is part of the quick kill. Honestly, I'd say that the separation between how much I hate Jabu and how much I love Baron so fun to execute. <laughs> Jabu, not fun to execute. Baronade, real fun to execute. Just give me Jabu shortcuts. I can just do Baronade. <laughs> yeah, my ears are starting to kill me after two and a half hours of this headset. <laughs> yeah. And oh, it's, it's the song. It's Eponos. It has to be Eponos at this point. We, there's nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Like, literally know what nothing else this could mean. So, yeah, we are going to go... Grab a horse, do big pose, and then go shoot some targets. Yep, because that's where we're at. We've done everything else in the game, it, with or without the path. I believe both of our runners will probably be joining me on team uh, Send Epona to the Glue Factory. <laughs> uh, Sponge playing Minuet. Is he going to just clean up uh, Goron City while he's here? I guess, because he never got the slingshot off Hot Rodder, and we haven't seen the Rudia, I suppose. Yeah, I think that's sensible. Like, just you never want to be child again, particularly after this long, long trip. Yeah, just to be absolutely certain. Though we know there's really going to be nada here. Yeah, I, I think, think he kind of realized he, that. He really I think he realized that. Uh, 
logically there couldn't be anything of any interest there. No, even if it's Longshot there, that's not going to save you, and it cannot be the other strength, because that would break a lot. Yeah, because they know, but at this point, our runners know that the strength has to, like, Epona herself has to lock strength. Yeah. Either on Big Pose or on HBA, because we've seen GTG, and... Yeah, unfortunately, the Big Pose were not kind to uh, Sponge. Sponge when he tried to spawn them in on foot. I don't blame him for not wanting to continue doing that. No, you you only really do that if you know it's it, and you don't want... And it's a much longer and less certain trip. Yeah, absolutely. So, there's a Pono song. We're going to go do Big Pose, and then if it's not that, time for HBA. And then we should go a, beat Spirit yeah, Temple. What does a Furrow's Wind here do? Sorry, what? Oh, I'm just wondering what Furrow's Wind there does. It's uh, yeah. Potentially thinking he might be able to... Oh, would, that would make a Furrow's Wind right where you, uh, right where uh, Rudo will spawn in if you abandon her. Yeah. So if you got, you know, one item here... I'm not even sure what that item could be, honestly. <laughs> you get, you take it yourself back. But Longshot opens to shoot the sun, and that's it. I would not lean yeah, over I a long shot. Yeah, I probably wouldn't lean over a long shot. Like, shoot the sun is so slow to get back to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, unsure, really. Not a huge deal, at least. And unfortunately, Drew is a good few minutes behind with no real way to catch up. Yeah, because right now we're just... You know, it's Honestly, they're, just full, they're full clearing the seed, and Sponge has done it a little more efficiently. Yep, that's about all there is. That's about what is that is. What's this about this? Mm -hmm. But I don't blame them also for trying to go around the logic here because if you had figured out that it was likely Epona, Epona hard locks two checks. Oh, oh, Fafa, thank you for clarifying. Apparently, the Ferrores lets you skip killing the bubbles in the final ten. Yeah, it, I understand that. With it, but I, normally I've been placing that like I'd be placing that um, outside the map chest room. Double defense. Not it. Thanks, game. Okay, so you did absolutely hard need Epona. That was a hard record Epona's because Big Pose is the last thing in the game, and where are you going, Spy? To use his Furore's win that he left in uh, GTG. Ah, that makes sense. Duh. And yes, it is an exactly 40% chance per spawn of the Poe to get a big one. Alright, so we got to see an HPA, which is going to give us a strength upgrade, because I can't see what else it would be at this point. Oh, if we have a very full tracker. <laughs> if it's long shot just for shoot the sun, we get to laugh, right? <laughs> we absolutely get to laugh if this is long shot for shoot the sun because that is uh, the only hey, that wait, if it's long shot for shoot the sun, that makes sense because then the hook shot still wouldn't could still not be path. There's no guarantee the hook shot has to be path. Yeah, <laughs> that would be really bad. Yeah, that would just be the last just you know this last little cherry on top for this. No, shadow pod's hook shot locked. Uh, you need it for the one the silver wait. rupees, technically, I think. But the uh, but the boomerang is before the shadow pot. No, it's a bombie pot. Shadow pot, I thought was where the boomerang was. No, the, the, oh, you're right. You're right. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, right. Because I thought it was a. Uh, yep. Yep. Never mind. We good. I think that I think that one you need smoke out for the silver rupees. I also might just be having a brain fart. Oh. Oh, that's a feels bad for Sponge. I hope for his sake it's on the first check. Yeah, if it's just this is the strength upgrade. No. Nope. <laughs> Back on the horse with you. Fourteen hundred <laughs> HBA. You can tell that we're not on our best today. He doesn't. Yeah, that's not what he wanted. He's he's got to be feeling the pressure at this point. He's hundred percent of the seed. He. Yeah, he's like, okay, so uh, Drew absolutely just played this straight, and he's almost done. Yeah, Why is he not done yet? Why has he not stood up? Yeah. This is looking better. There we go. 16, 17, 10. Nice. This is another thing I've talked about with Sponge. Is like, he's okay with it being an adequate HPA. He doesn't have doesn't have to be as fast as possible. And there it is. And there's the strength upgrade. We are. Let's go. That is go mode finally for Sponge. Two hours, 28 minutes, and like 1,500 HPA, and I think that's literally the last thing he could have done. <laughs> I think that is a hard last location. Like, again, yeah, this is, this is kind of rude. That is rude. 
Well, I think he skipped like Child Goron City and a couple of things, but that is a pretty darn close to our last location. Yep. And for us, I think we have between the two seen. Oh, we've every seen check. every single check in this game. <laughs> Every single non-strength two lock check in this game, we've seen it. Yep, we have seen all of them between our runners. Drew's done Child Goron City. We've seen the fairies on DMT. We've done all the goofy overworld stuff. It's been done. Yep, and all that because they didn't want to get get the horse. Yep. So they did play. They did take the correct 50-50 that I opponent was on Prelude. Yeah, at that point. Unfortunately, they lost the part that HP was recorded anyway. Yep. <laughs> Which, well, uh, we'll do that to you sometimes. Yep, these things happen. Yep. Uh, so let's see where that Spirit Boss key is, because this key layout's garbage, apparently. Oh, yeah, this key layout. Yeah, it sucks. So that was the uh, noise of disgust seeing a small chest fall down there yeah. instead of a key. So you can do some some shenanigans with sphere key logic to try and work out where your small keys are, but the big key placement in all the dungeons is a uniform random distribution and it's placed first. Uh oh, we're seeing a box skip. We're seeing a box skip. Yep. Bold. Let's see if it works for me. No, not the first time, at least. You still save time if you get it your second try, and it's about even on the third. So, not bad. Yep. Not bad. Second try is pretty good. Oh yeah, I should shout out, by the way, that once we are wrapped here, we do have another race that is either st has already started or is starting soon. They're on the other side of the room, so I can't tell. Um, but we do have ourselves Vidya versus Tanjo at a group B, which is a hot mess of a group, I should add. Uh, is it's an is a important and exciting match, so you should probably, uh, go once you're done listening to us, go ahead over there. to Speed Gaming 4, is where you'll we'll be at. Or for our in-person people who have probably have gone over there already, uh, we're over there. That's in the Yep. Other side of the room. <laughs> yep. I think they're... Look like, on the other side of the Metroid people. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, basically, for those who are not in person, um, there we are in a big tournament room. Okay, yeah, they started a couple minutes ago. Um, they're out, we're in a big room with all five restream setups. It's a little chaos. The Metroid people are being around. Oh my around. god, Jamie is racing in sunglasses. Yeah, you guys want to go watch that. You don't want to watch this. <laughs> We admittedly are pretty much done here. But yeah, we, we we get it if you decide to head over to the SG4 <laughs> or walk over to the other side of the room as well. <laughs> and I should actually post in the Discord that we are live on SG4. Oops. Yeah, look at Star here doing doing the most commentating while uh, managing everything. So shout out to Star. So where did our uniform random distribution put our our, our boss key? All right, thanks. Post invade. I should probably post in the other Discord. Uh, oh dear, Sponge. I have a suggestion for you, and it's please take that off your C buttons. Uh, yeah. Don't, don't just crash just the game. just put, take it off before you get to the top, please, please. I don't want to have to deal with that. I think it might have gotten fixed eventually in some newer dev build. I don't know if it's on this one. I um, don't think it is yet. Cause but I'm not, I'm not about to try, you know. No, I don't feel like finding out either, especially not in this tournament race where that would actually I that think would change the result. That would actually change the result if Sponge accidentally fat fingered and hit it. Yeah. For like those who aren't aware, uh, in the vanilla game and in old. It's, I think it's a fix on some latest dev builds, but I don't think it's on this one, and I don't feel like finding out. It's discussed. Um, if you use Din's Fire on the light bubbles at the top of Spirit Room, where you do the mirrors push with Hitler's office, um, and bombs and walls, if you use Din's Fire there, it just crashes the game. Uh, yep. so, it, something, something about like the damage table not being coded. Yeah, correctly. just like it, it doesn't. It's. I think you know, it's effectively divide, divide by zero. Something like that. It just crashes the game, right? It just doesn't know what to do with it. it Damage table doesn't work or whatever, and it just yeah. Works. This isn't this isn't calculus. You can't divide by zero. No. Nope. There's a big key, boss key, so we're good. Okay, please, please, just hit it. Just hit the inspire off, please. Just make me feel better about my life, or don't. I don't know. It's it's your life. You can do it. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll 
we'll probably go. I think we might go over the status of some of our other groups as well okay. once we wrap a bit. Because some of this stuff will not end up on restream. And love. There's only, sadly, we can only restream so much in one day. There's exactly. only so many tur There's a lot of tournaments going on here. Yes. There's only so many restream spots. There's only so many volunteers. Uh, when there are finite numbers of people and screens in a room. We get to deal the constraints, and sadly, if we do have a three-way tiebreaker, we will not be able to restream it because we are confined to two people per restream, which yeah. makes us sad, but that it is, is, what it is the reality. Um, yes, uh, with this, uh, since uh, Sponge will be taking first in the group F, um, since he did not use the on those bubbles, thankfully. Very good. Um, with Sponge will be taking first in group F. They'll secure him a 3-0, mm -hmm. and that will... Most, almost certainly secure him a buy in brackets. Um, still not guaranteed. I, we've got some, we've got other matches going on that are determining a variety of stuff. But likely that is going to secure him the 3 0. It was going to secure him the 3 0 and likely a bracket, and directly a brackets buy. Um, because with the way we have it set up, top two, six groups of four, top two from each move on, and four of the six first places get a buy in brackets. Um, so um, I, ex I will be a little surprised if we get all five Rios. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will have to see how that goes. I do expect we'll probably get a couple more. Um, yeah, there's some good. Uh, there's some good matches that are pretty one-sided. Coming like you. Know, <laughs> Not like guaranteed, never guaranteed, but random, like you know, random, but likely probably more on the eighty twenty, the seventy twenty, eighty four, the, the seventy thirty, eighty four, eighty twenty side of the things rather than the forty sixty side of things. Yeah. Uh, so it is likely we'll have at least a couple more three O's, and then we, w depending on the exact number, we may end up doing a play in race for the last buy spots. Mm -hmm. Or if we somehow do end up with five three O's, I guess we're doing a five lane race. <laughs> That's great. Oh, great. <laughs> um. And love which would be a don't lose race. Yeah, don't lose. <laughs> Challenge, do not lose. Which I guess is just a different way of approaching it at that point. Yeah, just do not do not lose to no, do so not be last. Yep. So we'll see. That is also likely to get restreamed for the same reason that we just can't do multi way restreams. Mm-hmm. And in fact, the restream room and the rooms where the non-restream races are being held are on completely different floors. So you either have to take the elevator or take two flights of stairs to get between the two. It's not fast. Nope. As, okay, Drew's true. also having aiming problems. True. Does still get Never it. mind. Got it. 1640. Very nice. 1640 is more than enough. <laughs> And there's Gomu. Yep. About probably uh, the fastest uh, Requiem play I've ever heard. <laughs> I mean, he was ready for it. Oh yeah, he knew. Just <laughs> it was a flurry. Yep. Hit A to close the text box, and then go immediately hit the lock, hit uh, D down, D pad down to go play the ocarina. Mm -hmm. There's a little part of me that just feels compelled to play the song in the same rhythm as the uh, actual play. <laughs> Yeah, hold the first note for a moment. Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> I have to repress it. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't tend to actually pick up a controller and play this game too often for various reasons, so when I do play the game, I inevitably have trouble playing songs because I'm very musically inclined. Mm -hmm. So I remember the songs by their melodies, not, not by, by which the buttons. buttons give you the melodies, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because I just don't play it often enough to have the the buttons. Memorized. So my thing I do with uh, the Ocarina Member game is I sing the directions to the tones. Uh -huh. It works. That helps. Yeah, if it works, it works. Yep. Well. Anyhow, time for Gans Castle should be about a two, f uh, just under two forty-five probably. Yeah, it takes about six minutes to do all this, depending on how agreeable the enemies are. Yeah. Yeah, it mostly. The we, we have BGS, so the Zalfos are, are going to be pretty agreeable. The Stalfos can waste some time on you, and like I said, sometimes the uh, Iron Knuckles decide that today is they have woken up and chosen violence. Fortunately, we have a double defense, and Spun was very diligent about picking up seven hearts to make sure that he had a lot of wiggle room. And uh, yeah, so I'm 
I'm not concerned. You just no. probably see a couple faces if that happens. Yeah. Um, and yes, we have very nearly reached Tracker Percent. It's been a long one on that front. Um. Hmm. Well, you can follow those runners too if you would like, <laughs> but. Hey, Sigma. Um. Yeah, All right. We'll get that fixed. Apologies. Yeah. Well, you can follow those runners, too, but uh, we have... Solid LTPR runners, but yeah, that's not these two. <laughs> yeah. That was the morning issue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Speaking of there being so much going on, this is one of nine tournaments going on here. We have this. We have Link to the Past Randomizer, which was that race. We have Wonder Girl Randomizer, we have Final Fantasy 1 Randomizer, we have Super Metroid Dash Randomizer, Super Metroid Zelda 3 random Combo Randomizer, we've got Mega Man X, we have Zelda 1 I think, did I mention Zelda 1 Rando? We also have uh, Super, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 Rando, SMB 3R, and... Um, yeah, a few. <laughs> and something else I'm probably forgetting, yeah. There's a whole bunch. So lots going on this weekend if people want to catch them on the Speed Gaming channels. We'll be on Speed Gaming 1 through 4 for with all various things. It uh, looks like we are starting either LTTPR or SMC3. I'm not quite sure which that is here on SG3 shortly, as well as the one on SG4. And presumably SG2 is something, but they're on the complete opposite side of us. Yeah, so we I can't, can't see, see them. It. Yeah, we have the uh, race in the way. And speaking of the race, we are going to be heading into the very, very end of it. Yep. Because uh, here's the time for Gandor. Did you find the light in Kokiri Forest? Yes. Yes, I did. Thank you. Should have had Mido stand in front of his house. All right. <laughs> like you think he he hates Link, but for some reason he just lets Link walk waltz in the door and steal his stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, this is uh, about as nice of a Ganon fight as you would like. Yeah. Get your jump slash storage of the big round sword damage, then. Use the Master Sword to yep. round this out. And I do like having the Big Round Sword back up here. I mean, I'm sure that you've done the you know, Master Sword damage stun lock a million times, but it's stressful. You have full clear to see. You're standing... Like, yeah, like I'm just actually looking at the body language here on our runners and... Uh, like, just the entire, like, area here looks tense. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, Sponge is ready for Drew to have not done or hold up a hand at any second. Yep. And Drew's probably picking the exact same thing. Yeah. Again, just, it's so funny. They're, they just had the same opinions the entire way through. Really did. Oh. There you are. <laughs> well, you know what? Okay, yep, that's right, three. That checks. Yep. Thanks, game. Thanks for showing us, Drew. Thank we were you. all curious, but now we know. Yeah, now we know. All right, time for Ganon. And Drew has used the safer fire source option on his uh, C button, so don't have to worry about him. Yep. Apparently, according to chat, the fix has been good there for months on the bubble crash, so... Okay, that's good. That's good. That is good. Yeah, I just, like, I've never felt the need to try. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it certainly is fixed for Season 7 Qualls, because for those who want to see more Ocarina of Time randomizer action after as the SGL wraps, uh, we won't be here on the Speed Gaming channels, but uh, yeah, give one second. Yeah. Um, we won't be here on these channels, but we will be uh, over on the Zelda Speedruns family of networks uh, for the so Season 7 of our main tournament. And there's the long shot. Drew, <laughs> thanks. Uh, You're the real MVP, showing us where all these items are. Yeah, like, we will have the season seven call of the calls of the Season 7 tournament. It's coming up, well, starting this weekend, actually, yeah. so you can check those out. But in, the, uh, in the meantime, though, GG's here to sponge. Yeah, GG's to sponge. This is a, uh, again, this is probably does not feel good for anybody here. Uh, oh, yeah, we just switched over to our... And Drew, thank you for just showing us all these checks as long as you... Uh, there's an emotional support fish. You, we, we all need one after this. And GG's to Sponge. 24403. Yeah. Oh, man. That was. Watching two runners just uh, 
show off everything they can do. <laughs> Absolutely Literally. everything. We saw this entire scene. Um, yep. <laughs> Yeah, so Drew will be joining us in a second. Both of them will. Uh, there's the mics. Yep. Yeah, let's move over. Yeah, GG. Here, we'll move over for them. Um, let's see. Uh, right, he here and here is going to be where it's visible. Okay, you'd rather have there? No, I'm just trying to figure out which, which seats are visible from yeah, the like camera. It's, yeah, uh, one to each side of us. Yeah, yeah, that works. So we can move over and let them sit in the middle. Yeah, let's do that. Um, logistics of, you know, being on camera in person is a little weird with the seating. Yeah, but they're doing a good job. Yep. You guys are both off camera right now for our checkers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we'll have our runners join us shortly. Just need a quick break after all that. Yeah, that was probably a little more than they thought they were signing up for. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, I do not remember which one. Logistical stuff here. Uh, to these, um, just sorting out a thing or three with cables in person. Boop. We're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, mind if I yoink yours? And I'll. Oh yeah. Boop. Don't drop the thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, just laptop cables needed sorting. Um, so I'll do that while we wait for our rudders. Um, and where is the thing? Yes, Sun Sponge did have a three-hour C last night against uh, Jay Cooper because I believe an FPA happened and there was also a last location of things. Yeah, well, as Rando does. Sometimes. One location has to be your last one. And uh, we saw that yesterday and today. You know that you know that old saying: "It's always in the last place you look." Yep. All right. Yes. Uh, once we take once we wrap this, I'll be taking a break because there's a lot going on and we've got more stuff later. Oh yeah, this is a. Yeah, we have a packed day here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, that's where the Velcro thing went. Uh, I assume Sponge is Drew's in the bathroom? Yes. That's yeah. what I thought. <laughs> yep. After that. After that, yeah, yeah, sometimes you just need to need a power break. Yeah, I'll be doing that myself once we finish with this entire thing. But. Yeah, we were right that it was horse from Java. Unfortunately, it just turned out to be hard required. You could not skip that. You hard required. The person who runs the HBA mini game will not spawn until you have a pony song. <laughs> yes. She's like, no, no, bring your own horse. Like, it is physically impossible to play that mini game without a yep. horse. <laughs> yeah. If you don't bring your own horse, then you don't get to play. No. You want to grab the mics from there? Oh. Uh, I, I'll wait all the runners do that when they actually show up. That works. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. But no, it's a, as as we said, well-deserved break at the, after this. Oh, <laughs> man, for sure. Shout out to what's left of our peanut gallery, since I think half of them are over there. <laughs> yeah. We, again, we have uh, another race going on on Speed Gaming 4, so if you'd like to open that up in your other tab, do that. <laughs> uh, or, you know, wander off. That's also an option. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. I'm um, just looking at group results from other matches. Hey, Jossie. Um. Yep. All right. <laughs> Throwing to the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't mind just people walking from the camera, because, again, in person, yeah, the there. room's a little chaos. Uh, hmm? yeah, I, I don't know where Drew is. Oh, he just well, went to the restroom. Well, why don't you hop in? Yeah, hop in. Yeah, grab a we mic. We can stop standing here it's totally awkwardly. <laughs> yeah, it's worse. Grab a mic if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> We're kind of awkwardly trying and failing to kill time right now. Well, you know, as it does, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, you need to take your stuff out. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hello, so feeling? that's Sponge. GG's. I don't know if you noticed. I was, like, like yes. breathing very like, <laughs> oh, I was noticed. saying, like, this entire area. I was like, oh, yeah, you, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, basically the biggest thing for me is I realized partway through is that, like, the I was doing the CAC to PG, the double CAC to PG in my head the whole time, and I thought, okay, well, DIN's leads to strength. I thought it was like, oh, this is hard required strength one, strength two must be strength locked. 
Grab a mic. Grab a mic, Drew. And then I realized, oh, no, it says to PG, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it could be locked by Jabu. So it was, yeah, it took me too long to realize that personally, but... We're joined by Drew here. GG. GG, yeah, GG y'all. <laughs> Drew, thank you for showing us all of the uh, big chest and spirit because <laughs> I was curious. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were wondering where Strength 3 in that long shot went. <laughs> yeah, where did uh, Light Arrows end up? What? You, you had them, dude. You they were in Midas' house. They were in Midas' house. Okay, so you know what? You know what? We're, we're, see, what, you shouldn't have asked that because then you could be like, "Yeah, yeah, I was just doing it for the people." Yeah. So, uh, what was the big kicker with you? I'd say, like. Uh, well, my go mode was strength two. Actually, Same. I want to hold up a sec. Yeah. Uh, can you hear chat Drew now? Uh, hey, sound desk. Uh, this mic is not currently coming through. Up apparently on stream. Hello? Yep. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Gotcha. Let's try that again with the light arrows to start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we don't have to say anything about that. <laughs> okay, yeah, so <laughs> I didn't say anything about not having light arrows. No, we um, said absolutely nothing. We didn't hear anything at all. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so my go mode was strength two. Um, yeah, yours both was. Which I was thinking might have been the same for you. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, Jabu... I don't know. I just I just didn't want to do job. <laughs> I also so, didn't. No, you it. guys were like I was gonna tell you, like, you know, if you have this like the, this telepathy where you can share your route, <laughs> you could probably like be a co op team or something. <laughs> Cause you were you yeah. were doing the same thing all the way. I, yeah. I thought yeah. it was I thought it was a logical bait. I thought, mm -hmm. oh, Jabu yeah, has yeah. a fifty fifty chance of leading to a Pona, but yep. do I wanna bank on that? So I did fire first because mm -hmm. I felt, you know, strength lock checks. That, that's what I thought. And then I was like, Okay, screw it, we're taking the gamble. And then at that point, it was just like, all right, well, there's only one kind of option left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you both did fire, which we found interesting, because there yep. wasn't anything directly playing towards it, and it was strength one locked, and unfortunately, you had a slingshot, and that was about it. Yeah, I was thinking strength lock checks. For yeah. yeah, that's what I was yeah. doing, too. Yeah, which makes sense, because you did know that strength one had to lock the others, more or less. Or you did, or you wanted it to be a strength three. Th three. Yeah, potentially that's what i thought that was like the uh the hedging my bet sort of say where it's with going to gtg i'm like even if this is out of logic strength three could just be chilling here mm -hmm. yeah like and you so had no idea where your mirror shield was that could have been anywhere this suit yeah <laughs> yeah um yeah you guys followed very similar routes the only the, one, the early significant difference is that you guys did it you're you know adult one cag you found about nothing in there more or less uh shout out to that you go child, you both, you, you know, you do market and stuff, and then you, know, you did market ranch into Valley Lake, and then at that point, Sponge, you went straight to CAC, following what we been then knew was a double CAC path. Yeah. And Drew went to Kokiri Lost Woods first. Drew yeah. got a bomb bag, so we're like, oh, that could be good for the tech uh, redead grotto, but then you found a bomb bag in the well, so the your end route ended up working yeah. out better. Because <laughs> Drew had chuckle. to... <laughs> so Drew did Kokiri, then went CAC, then, then went had to go to, back. Then went to Cairo Castle Ferry, and then had to go back to Kokiri. So that cost him a couple minutes, and it kind of just stayed that way for the rest of the seat. It was just a few minute difference. Yeah, we won't talk about almost walking to water. We <laughs> noticed. We were like, yeah. wait, <laughs> why oh, did no. yeah, we were like, are, are you just gonna go back for shoot the sun? I so don't know I'm, why. <laughs> I'm doing cleanup, and I just I get the iron boots and tech tie. I'm like, yeah, why not? There's strength lock checks and water, and then halfway through, I'm like, wait, that's my light medallion. <laughs> you yes. Yeah, I was like, why are you walking all the way back around the field? Yeah, you're it's, like, it's really hard to think in a live race. Yes, it's really yes. hard. <laughs> yes, agree. Adult, agree. <laughs> after like GTG, like Sergeant so so Adult, like he did the south field checks. Went all the way around to the north side, checked tight that grotto on the way, tried and failed to get a big poe, and then went all the way back to the southern end of the yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in, at the end, you still need to do HBA. Yep, because that's how the... Sometimes the rainbow just wants to do that to you. Yeah. yeah. And again, like... Yeah, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> yeah, like, that <laughs> I feel was, like... You guys cleared, like you guys cleared a seed. Um, good job. Uh, again, I have to point out that I did call you out for having good... like flourishes in your execution drew because you're probably again we're not paying attention to your own flourishes but there was like a lot bunch of little stuff that was really cool 
Okay. Yeah, Drew is sick. Yeah. If you you guys should go follow Drew. He's a really good player. <laughs> yeah. Again, you guys were like on the same brain with the entire time, and that like just the where you got your bomb bag was like made up like half of your diff time difference. Honestly. Honestly, yeah. yeah. They just because you both got bomb bags, but Sponge you're at just ended up being a little better for not having to go back to Kokiri on foot because that yeah. event was a little weird. I was gonna, I was gonna actually, uh, I was thinking uh, in my child route. Do Valley Lake, Domain, River, and then at that point I could decide whether I want to walk back up or go to CAC uh, to fish for explosives to do Castle Fairy before walking over there, and that's mm, yep, it that worked makes out. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. And then the uh, bomb lock, bomb juice. That was yeah. funny in the well. <laughs> the 20 pack, too. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, that, <laughs> hey, thanks. Neat game. Um, yeah, those pads were fun to see. Uh, yeah, because we were talking about the whole, like, oh, we're probably not, like, the odds of us getting a bunch of past Van Ganon are really low, because <laughs> it's a, yeah. there's so few items that are, like, hard law for Van Ganon, and then it's like, or, yeah. or, just like, hear me out. <laughs> what if we had the stupidest path to strength one ever? <laughs> yeah, well, when I saw the letter, I was like, okay, this is going to be, like, some ice cavern, we thought it was uh, song access. forest access, That's whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And, then and then I saw the dins, and I was like, huh. <laughs> yeah. So I went to ice, and I was like, I'm pretty sure Nocturne's gonna be here, mm. and like no matter what I find, I'm going to Shadow Temple. So like the last chest was the hook shot, and I was like, ignore it, go to Shadow. Go Temple. to Shadow. Go to Shadow. I mean, you have to, cause you know, you know that Cax double path, and the only two items he got were Rudo's letter and Din's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rudo's letter is obviously for Ice Cavern, already, uh, since that was path two. <laughs> and then Din's is the only, cause you guys found fire arrows. Din's in DC. Din's had to be for Shadow Temple, and. The, k the Kadeku tree to Twin Rover for Hover is just funny. It's like, yes, we're going Shadow. Thank you. Great. Thank you for the <laughs> update. It's like one of those things where, like, yeah, I know those are the only two items that I found there, but, like, do I know? Like, yeah. do I actually remember Lens what I was Yeah, there. but it's so weird. You do yeah, questions yeah, on Lens Man on Roof. Yeah, but, like, but it, it, it was, was useless. But you guys it was logically irrelevant, but... Yeah. You checked the Lens what? game first thing, and you had yeah. Requiem. Plus the laugh, that was the child save warp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what irrelevant. Yeah, so like you, you knew it was you knew it had to be the Rudo's letter and it's just like okay, yes, game, we were going Shadow Temple, thank you. Uh, just yeah, we're thanks. <laughs> Yo, I thought we were gonna get this sixth scenario where there's no path the Rova hint, and that mm. just means that our mirror shield is on an in always or sometimes hint. Oh, that could that would've been really cool. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was I was rushing hints because I'm like this could be please, a thing. Please, please, please tell me it's a skull mask or something. That'd be so cool. <laughs> that would've been pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, like because we you know us talking about like oh yeah we're probably gonna get more path to Twin Rova than usual. No. Nope, not today. <laughs> <laughs> we got more PG passes than usual. We did actually have we have had we have had a group race where there was a lot of twin rope where there was no twin rope path at all, but uh, because Mirror Shield happened to lock our only bow in the seat, so ah uh, okay that was funny. Anyway, but yeah, the, that sometimes just the random does some things you don't expect. Yeah. So yeah, I'm good if if we're all yeah. Yeah, thinking I'm about. Good. I'm excited to see the bracket tonight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, good luck to you going forward. Congrats Same, on the bye. man. I'll yeah. see you in Grands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Chad, Maybe. Oh, question from Chad, I guess. Does Sponge regret not rushing ice after graveyard? Because you guys could have rushed ice theoretically, but there was just... Yeah, I was laughing about do. that. I don't know if yeah. you looked at my can. I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking yeah. about it, too. I was thinking of just, like, peeking over just to see <laughs> if you, <laughs> it's if you so like, smiled at me or something. But I, I, yeah. was like, oh. I, I definitely uh, I was like, you know, we could rush ice. <laughs> I had been telling Drew, like, yeah, early river is great. Until you go to CAC and you get ZL in a bottle and you could have rushed ice. Yeah, yeah, and, Sc and Star was just like trying to be reasonable about like, oh well, this is a bad I bad play, and I'm like, yeah, but they he does it all the time and it works, so I don't see any reason he, so I don't see why that's relevant. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> if it works, it works. Yeah. Hey. All right. But yeah. yeah, that is, I think, about it. So yeah, for moving on, uh, Sponge, yeah, you do. You you guys were both guaranteed brackets. I knew before this, but Sponge, you're guaranteed a three zero, mm -hmm. and um, most likely a most buy. likely a buy unless we somehow get th four others three zeros, which is possible. I just don't know. Don't think that's super likely. We'll see because we still got a lot of matches going on. Now we do currently have over on Sweet Gaming Four, or for the people here, uh, the other side of the room. Um, yeah, go watch that. Uh, we have it's ourselves, that's a really good match. We have ourselves Tantra versus Vidya out of Group B. That is the d the only group that came into today with three matches left, and we don't know how that's going to go. So go check that out. That's going to be a really interesting one to see how that group shakes out. A lot it's of an important match, too. Mm -hmm. so. Huge. 
also I looked at this the one blues of the cam I got. I think Vijay is playing in shades, which is like. A power move, really. This is not. It's he not that bright is, in, in here. He is, in fact, wearing sunglasses. It is not that bright in here. <laughs> yeah, it is not. It is not bright enough to justify that. Trust me. He's just doing it because he wants to. <laughs> yep. Look at that. Anyway, but that is going to be it here for us. We will be back. Go check out Speed Gaming Four. We'll be back over the weekend with brackets matches as well. And until then, uh, yeah. thanks. Uh, yeah. Oh, I guess please do one last thing. I guess please do oh, follow both of our runners here. Uh, Sponge and Drew, thank you to Jax, my Coco, yeah. and to our two trackers, uh, Alsoa and Worm Traveler, who I'm not sure if they're on cam. They are just barely on back behind me. Thank you to them both as well, and yeah, thanks for watching all. We will see it. you around. Yep, see ya.